Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream. We can hear you. Lies, deceit, untrue, factually inaccurate. Welcome to the stream, though. I hope you're ready, because uh, today we're going to be having a bit of fun. Wait, what the fuck? Why is the tip... Who already tipped what? Ashley tipped twenty dollars. When? I just got here. What? Hello? Thank you, Ashley, very much for the twenty dollars. That's extremely generous of you. What the fuck? It didn't even make a noise because I w I wasn't even on the right scene. I I genuinely thank you very much for the twenty. That's very very kind of you. Appreciate it. Halo Three mod stream at three. I'm not fake. Gone wrong. Yeah, just you wait, just you wait. This stream's gonna go real wrong, <laughs> if you catch my drift. <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, let's go and talk about what we're doing today. So, originally, uh, I did say Wednesday was gonna be my Halo Wars day. Not gonna lie, it got really caught up with stuff today, and I completely blanked on that. So that's my bad. Tomorrow, I'm gonna end up doing, um... I'm going to do Halo Wars tomorrow or Friday. The reason um, that I'm justifying it now that I'm on stream is one, I forgot. But two, uh, Ultimate Forge is now 100% in, uh, in my hands. I'm going to finish this shit. Ultimate Forge is being finished today. And maybe tomorrow. I'm not really sure how long this will take. I might just stay up really late on stream today for like a long ass time and finish it because... Look, I love Ultimate Forge, but I also really just want to finish it so that way I'm free to work on other projects. Extinction's like an itch in the back of my brain and like I, I, I want to work on it really bad. Don't get me wrong, I love working on this mod too. And I have technically been working on it by making the scarabs and stuff on the other maps because like the assets are shared between them. But like, I, I think you get my point. I'm, I'm itchy, I'm itchy, I'm very, I'm, I'm very itchy. Um, and you know, for those of you who've stuck around with me for a long time through these streams, you should know by now that the fact that I haven't just like permanently yeeted to another project is a testament to my dedication because holy shit, my ADHD brain really do be going places. And today, I'm going straight into your heart. You look nice today. Alright, uh, but behind me is the subject of the beginning of today's stream. Mom boss the streets. Ah, hokey. Every time you remind me, I'm actually a little bit happy. I will get to that mod, in fact. I'm quite excited for it. Um. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello? Bro, what? I'm getting coffee. Fuck that. Oh, what? This is ridiculous. I just got here. Hello? Let me breathe. Just, just, you know, just give me like one second, man. Just hold on. All right. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. Just like, just like for real one second though. I, I ended up making coffee when I got up in surprise. <sighs> okay. Anyway, I'm back. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, we're back. Uh, uh, you know, thank you, demon. For the $80, what the fuck? You actually just finished the tip goal instantly. Demon, thank you very much for the two. You said it no speaking, only donos. Ashlet dropped 20, which was ridiculous to begin with, and then you dropped 80. Dude, ah! Ah! Okay, let's try that again. That 
That is ridiculous. I, I don't know what to say. I'm very grateful, though. That is insanely generous of you. So thank you very much. I appreciate it immensely. Sploinkish! Thank you very much for the two. Can't wait to play this mod. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying. Um, yeah, this mod's gonna be really fun. And, get this, it's gonna be done in like a couple- Well, okay. Quote, unquote. Done. In a couple of days, okay? I'll be the first to admit some of the vehicles in this mod are just there for fun, and some of them are unpolished. But, like, generally, it should be pretty good. Um, we'll see about the Condor, though. You know, that one, that one could really use... Oh, that one could really use some love. Anyway, anyway. Um, um, um. How come I don't only gift membership sometimes? You know, I really don't know. I really don't know. I, it's just kind of weird. I really couldn't say. Abyss, holy shit, you became a member? Let's go, Abyss, you're a member, let's fucking go. Yo, welcome to the, what, what is, what is that like, cringe shit? Welcome to the fam, or uh, the shotgun fam, yo. God, you know, I really hope you're proud of yourself. You, you know, you know what you are, Abyss? You're part of the shotgun fam now. Yeah. That's what you just did. You were already a member? Wait, yeah. Oh, you just, you just delayed it. Oh, whatever, you cheated it. You're not, you're not part of the shotgun fam anymore. <laughs> He's never speaking again. <laughs> Uh, Demon, thank you very much for the $2. Are you gonna read the $80? Oh, I freaked out so much. I didn't realize I didn't read it. Okay, yeah, let me check it out. What? Pause! I can't... Okay, let's see. I, okay, I'm reading this shit. Thank you very much, Demon, for the $80 tip. Holy shit. Uh, how's my favorite guy who needs to give me that 1v1 when you swap game midstream? Oh, yeah, actually. You know what? You know what? I'll play campaign a little bit, and then... Did you... I can't... Uh, uh, I'm fine. I'll, I'll get through all of these, I swear. But also check your DMs again for more Broken Skyrim. Okay, deal. We will 1v1. Oh my god, my brain is on fire. Uh, no speaking, only donuts. Can't wait to play this mod. Uh, when are you gonna... Oh yeah. Uh, Abyss, how much do I owe you? How many pizzas do I owe you? I owe you and Green some pizzas. And Shallot tipped $10. They, sorry for the delay. And thank you, Shallot. I appreciate it. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm cursed. Look at this chair. Look at this chair. Thank you, Shallot, very much for the $10 tip. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Uh, hey, man. Haven't watched your channel in quite some time. I know. It's good to see your name. It's, like, it's, like new. it's nice to see that you've grown and learned how to mod Halo games. Thank you for the good work. Well, thank you. I very much appreciate it. You know, I've switched up my content and I'm doing something that I'm, I love and I'm very passionate about. And it's a great time. And I, I genuinely appreciate that, that support and, and you coming through. You know, it's very kind of you. I hope you enjoy this kind of content, perhaps. And Comedy Gaming Network Super Chat $2. Thomas, the Tank Engine Banshee Reset. You know what? That is like iconic. I, that's an iconic Skyrim mod. Replacing the dragons with Thomas the Tank Engine or a fucking cursed Randy Savage. I think it's about time that that I did that, but with the Banshee instead. Oh, and before I I, I don't trust Streamlabs OBS to show everything. Kiram gifted a membership. Thank you so much, Kiram. Honestly, the fact I fucked it up. And the fact, Kiram, that you keep gifting memberships, I really appreciate. I will say this, when it comes to me, like, surviving off the monetization of my YouTube channel, tips are great because it goes 100% to me. Super Chats are still really great because I get 70% of Super Chats, YouTube takes 30%, and gifts are in the same thing. But what I really like um, whenever someone's feeling generous enough to gift a membership is that it adds, like, more to the community, which I I genuinely love this community a lot. Like, you guys are great. I, I feel very lucky to have this community, especially in the Halo community, which, like, peace and love, there could be some real toxic motherfuckers sometimes, and I really don't see that here. Like, it's very, very rare. So I appreciate that, Kieran. Thank you for the gift membership. That is very, very kind of you. And Xerxes, thank you very much for that two-month reminder for your membership. I much, much appreciate it. You said, you said something real, real nice. You said, and I quote, pee pee poo poo Nice. I like that. Thank you very much, Xerxes. 
And Lose for Vanity also joined as a UNSC member. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Y'all looking kind of nice today. Y'all kind of look like snacks. Shit. Yeah, like me, I'm super cool. Yeah, all of you should strive to be like Abyss. Toxicity in the Halo community. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, who would imagine? Who would imagine? That would never happen. Smell the screen. How do you know I didn't already? Huh? How do you know I didn't get real close and just... You don't know that. Oh, shit. Wait, I, I brewed coffee. Hold on. Pause. I forgot. It's, it's over here. It's ready. What was that? Who, what was that? Oh shit! Ashley tipped a, a ten a ten dollar. Thank you very much, Ashley. Why are you, Ashley? You got paid something recently? Relax, chill. You don't have to. You don't have to throw all that money. Thank you very much. Though. I very much appreciate it. Tipping ten dollars. Thank you so much. These people demanding the people demand the parking garages and Fortnite dancing. You know, I think if I think if I just took the suggestions from chat, the cherub. Thanos doing the fucking grit, hitting the gritty, like, I think it would maybe be the most cursed mod. If I just, like, took everything that all of you said, it would, it would be the most cursed mod. Period. So, yeah, I, I, we'll see how that goes. Uh, 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 uh tentacular Taku. Wait, this thing has boost? My chair has a boost. Stop with the flood music. Nobody asked for that. Thank you very much for the $3 tip, Taku. New Minecraft Machinima when? Um, if if the stream today, if we hit, uh, oh god, what's, you know, I'll be honest with you. If the stream today hits $1,000, I'll make a Minecraft Machinima. All right, there you go. Uh, Abyss, thank you very much for the $1 tip. I got one dollar. All right, now you deserve. Uh, oh yeah, actually no. If we, if we had a million likes or a thousand uh, doll hairs. Yeah, there we go. There you go. We'll make it one hundred percent. Kiram, thank you very much for the two dollars super chat. Appreciate it. ARS, we want to. When did you want to do the thing? Oh, do you write up the questions and stuff? Actually, uh, in my DMs, and we'll do it. Um, I don't know when. Just if you let me know that there's questions, I'll make. I'll make time for it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to begin. That's right. We're going to get started. This shit's going to be good. Uh, this right here, this locust, this thing, it's really nice. It's a really fucking spicy, <laughs> spicy, beautiful thing. Um, and we're going to get this thing fully locked and loaded. Uh, Green's already got a shit ton of animations and good stuff for it. Literally... It's gonna it's gonna look awesome. It already does look awesome. I asked Green to send me over all the files because he he's a bit uh, sick right now. He's going through it and uh, he he's not really able to complete it, which I totally respect. Honestly, I just want Green. I know you're there. Get better, you funk. Feel better. I need your talents. We need your talents. The people need your talents. I'm fucking trying. Yeah, I know you are. I know you are. Through love. I do hope you get better. I hope you don't have to be going through it so roughly throughout, like, the next little while. Because I'm not gonna lie, it sounds like you're already going through it and, uh, you know, I just kind of hope that shit gets better. Alright. Ashlet tipped five dollars, saying, "Make it happen, people." I'll, I'm gonna be real with you, Ashlet. I said that as a meme because I I don't think anyone wants me to make another Minecraft machine one because besides like the haunting fans and uh, 
yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's not gonna happen. But I appreciate the support. And Skiboodly with the two as well. Thank you very much. Standing by the Lenfire support. Much appreciated. All right. That's it, everybody. Let's begin modding. We've sat around and we've hung out. It's been a good start to the stream already. But we're gonna we're gonna go right ahead. Uh, after I read the super chat, sorry, uh, Demon with the fiver. Thank you very much. I'm gonna come out right and say it. I'm not putting money toward another machinima. So subtract eighty from the top. <laughs> okay, we're in that case. We are. Uh, $49 toward the Minecraft Machinima. That was a joke, by the way. If, 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 don't actually donate for the Minecraft Machinima. Uh, like, just, just to be clear, because we actually have done, uh, uh, like, things on the, uh, we have actually done dono goals. That was a meme. We, we've, we've hit the daily tip goal. If you, if you actually want a Minecraft Machinima, I'm, I'm not going to make a Minecraft Machinima. Please don't. Please don't do it. But thank you. Much appreciated. Your OnlyFans should just be, people, be people's mod requests. You know what's funny about that is OnlyFans is not actually an NSFW site. Uh, it, it's literally like an anything site. They just allow NSFW stuff because they knew people could use it for that, and they do. But it's so funny because people, they, the company itself has tried to encourage people so hard to to use it for other stuff. And everybody's just like, mm, nah. Swap in the new tags. Oh, sorry, you sent it. Uh, let me get my DMs right now. Green sent me the new Locust. Locust remastered. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that in my tags folder right now, and uh, it'll be hot and spicy. So give me two seconds while I throw all this stuff in. <gasps> the data and the tags. Oops. Data, objects, vehicles. Okay. One second, everybody. It's almost there. Okay, I found the folder. I'm dragging in the tags now. They're loading. The mainframe is being processed in approximately 70 megabytes. 60. 50. They're in. Alright. Uh, okay, sorry, I missed a bit of chat. One second. I'm reloading chat. Alright, cool, cool. <laughs> me sent you zero do- <laughs> What is that Guilty Spork Gaming? Me sent your zero dollars, zero cents. Thank you, Guilty Spork. Uh, okay. So, Covenant Locust, I kill. I killed that. Killed that fuck. Alright, uh, let's, let's delete the old locust, add in the new one, and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll turn on my camera, you know, we'll get, this will be an official, uh, rejected shotgun stream. Ah, it looks different! What happened? Did I fuck up? No, I didn't fuck up. I think I'll just throw the other, uh, the, the scrungies in. I'll throw the scrungy bungies. But this is the new locust, so I it's gonna I'll have to throw in the um the other shaders just so it's like the same but different, you know what I mean? Oh shit, Salty J tip ten dollars, thank you so much. At Halo 3 Machinima in the Minecraft mod. Hey yo. That's what we'll do. We'll make a we'll we'll go into Halo Craft and we'll make an actual machinima. Oh, it'll be so good. I swear it does not look like that on my map. Listen, it's fun. It's actually fun. I'll I'll just swap it for the other shaders. Ain't no ain't no problem. Uh 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 uh. Okay, let me let me turn on my camera and we're gonna begin engaging modding mode. What's up, everybody? I'm sorry I look like a mad scientist today. Um. I honestly just looked at myself in the mirror and I went, damn, I don't care. And then I, I started stream. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Um, let me let me swap out the... Uh, actually, wait. I like what you did with the shader where it turns on. By the way, look at that. Look at that. Is that an interior? Damn, that's a good looking interior to the Locust. Wait a minute, hold on. Don't tell me. Fuck, wait, I didn't mean to do that. 
Don't tell me. Is there a driver's seat? Did, did Skaboodly Doodle model an, in, an interior to the Locust driver's seat? Surely not. Surely. Oh, he did, though. Pedals for your feet? Command consoles for your hands? Gah! A really low-poly interior, but yeah. Well, I'm going to be real with you. That is so far above and beyond uh, what so many in the community can do that it is truly impressive. The locust colors are depressing. Yeah, this is like the sad locust. Oh, that's sick though. It's cute. Wait, so can I? Okay, so it turns on like that. Oh my god, those animations look so good. Okay, uh, let me let me change the shaders up really quickly, and then it'll be good. So open up Gorilla, and oh, it's called Covenant Locust. No matter, how, no, couldn't find it there for a second. Oh, I completely forgot. We fixed the BFG last night. I need to do damage states for the BFG for Extinction, but I could actually add it technically to. Uh, I could add it to Ultimate Forge now, because it works uh, as a vehicle, so that's pretty cool. I'll throw that in the map as well. We've got multiplayer scarabs and the BFG, aka the, um, for those who don't know, the BFG is the code name internally for the uh, anti-air cannon in Halo 3, which is what I'm referring to. Um, okay, Covenant Locust Shaders uh, versus Covenant Locust Remastered Shaders. So it's got Interior and Locust. Is what I'm looking at here, so... Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna load up... This version, this is the... Old one, and then this is the remastered one, and I'm just gonna copy them over, because... Oh, in Halo Wars 2, locusts are driven by grunts. Did not know that. Good to know, though. That explains why the cockpit's so small. Oh, thank you for the $2, though, Demon. Appreciate it. All right, so this is the um, so this is the original one with the good colors, and this is the other one that Green gave me with the the depressing colors. Let's just see really quick. Um, Banshee detail, Banshee detail, scale uniform at twenty. That added a bit more purple to it. That color is zero one. Alpha. Speedo color alpha zero. Why is the shader so different? Got the locust spec, zero point. Yeah, you use like a different base shader, I think. No worries though, I'll, I'm just gonna switch everything back. Peace and love. Um, uh, where is it, zero? So after the 10, we go to 6, and then 2, and then 4, and then 3, and then it does have order 3 area speculars, and then environmental roughness scale is 0.3, and I think it's all white, and then got the illumination, but you do have the good uh, color values for the illumination, which I want to keep. I really like how you did that. Oh, my eyes! What the fuck? Okay, something clearly has gone wrong. Detail, specular mask from texture, two lobe fong, dynamic, simple, opaque, off, first person, off, 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 locust diffuse, banshee detail. Oh, wait, base. That's fine. Wait, base map, albedo, default, detail, moon speed. Um, that's probably fine. Um, so then that color is zero. Locust normal Z bump, banshee detail map 20, and then locust spec. I'm going to be honest, I don't entirely know what's wrong here. Everything seems to be right. You I was trying to finish the whole thing. I crunched out the cockpit on potato resolution textures in g -tail. At least the player isn't going to see much of it anyway. You don't need to have that thing have a ton of detail. Honestly, you crunched it down, and I still think it looks fine. Like, it, your entire thing, the, the entire locus is already above um, and beyond Halo 3's level of detail as it is. So it's like, really... Why is bump mapping set to detail? Is it? 
Butt mapping detail? Uh, I don't know, it is on both. Wait, could it be the illumination map, perhaps? No, that wouldn't do it. I'm concerned, scared, confused, and I think I might cry and shit my pants. You try downloading the shader from the drive and then adding the LED functions? Yeah, I think that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be honest, it looks totally fine. Therefore, I have no idea what's going on, and I will instead copy and paste this. Uh, locust.shader. It looked fine in Green's thing, it must have been like a weird shader issue. Boom! Okay, there we go, so this is the original one. I don't know why that happened, and I honestly don't even think it was Green's fault. I think that was just weird. Um, and then self-illumination map. Uh, so the intensity will be a function. So it will be a curve of driver. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how Green did it. He did driver seat power, and then it went from zero illumination to five illumination. Okay, so now, so this should be the OG shader. Like this look, this is literally how it looked in greens, all greens previews. I have no idea why it was broken. I think my tags or something were fucked. But anyway, there we go. Green's really cool shader function is back. And holy shit, that actually looks so good. Oh, oh that's so cool. Yo, look how cool it is when its mouth opens. Okay. Is it just me? Should it... Should it charge up? Oh my god, it looks so fucking sick, dude. Skaboodly and Green did such a good job. What the fuck? God damn. This looks amazing. Even driving it's amazing. Holy shit, it's so cool. Dude! Oh wait, does it- Oh, it jumps too! Green actually out of the jump, that's so cool. Wow. Dude, green and Skaboodly knocked it out of the fucking park. No, it shouldn't charge. I suppose not. Like, I don't want it to, but just so that it can, like, have time to open up would be cool, but... Yeah, that's fine. Skaboodly, thank you for the $10. Um, one incredibly small note. The smoothing grips on the edges of the mouth panels aren't correct. They either need to be smooth or sharpened. Can't remember off the top of my head. Um... Oh, you know what? They are set... I think they're set to smooth when they should be sharp. And also, let me test this really quickly by getting in and then firing. It's hard to tell from here. Let me check. I'm zooming in. I think they're shadowed. I can't tell. It looks like they might have shadows being casted on them. I don't know if green separated them out into a different region. So I might just touch that up really quickly if they aren't. Um, that's totally fine. Um, speaking of which, this I just want to let everyone know right now. Like I'm gonna finish this up. I'm just gonna add a couple more animations and touch up the effects a little. But this is literally green. Or this is Kaboodles and this is Green's baby. So. I don't want any motherfuckers out here giving me credit for this shit. I'm literally just here doing this as a favor since Green's going through here, since he's going through right now. So let's make this thing look cool as fuck for both of their sake. And finish up the final touches that it needs. The little tweaks. Alrighty. Um, I do have, hold on, 
I do have a projects folder on the side. Let me open it up really quickly. Models. So here is Locust or Skaboodling Green. What, 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 what. Dark Steel with the $2 super chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. And an Amogus driving the Locust. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think either Skabooli or Green would mind if I were just like to secretly insert a little uh, Among Us. I think it would actually be totally fine. But you can pack textures into blend files. I didn't even know that. I thought that was like an FBX exclusive thing. Let's see. Oh, the animations are all in here as well. Sick. So this is the airborne animation. It, oh wait, this isn't the airborne animation, is it? I'm tripping out. All right, let's see, look at all these badass animations. So this is the backwards walking animation that Green added to it. Um, what else? We've got, there's the front animation. Oh, these are the, this is cool. These are the aiming animations. So these go coincide with what the head does. And basically it makes it so that the entire locust kind of looks around. Did I miss a donation? Oh, I did. I'm sorry. Demon, thank you very much for the fiver. Green says not to change the bump maps to normal. Oh, to normal, not detail. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was from a little bit ago before I fixed the shaders. My bad. But yeah, that, that honestly could have fixed it. That was a weird bug, though. Mr. Funny Swag with the $1. Thank you very much. Okay, that's pretty badass, and that should be the same. So this is hatch. I'm assuming this is the opening overlay for the driver's seat power. Where it goes. Okay, that's dope. That's really dope. Um, and then there's idle. I'm going to assume is just, yep, it's that. Landing. This is it. Hits the ground. Here it comes up. There's a test for sus. Oh right, you were doing this to see if you. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that actually would have been so smart if that had worked. That's a really good idea. So I did. Green said he was. Uh, he said he was doing this thing where he was trying to see if there was any way he could get the legs on this thing to work. And he actually like big brained it with this. I would have never thought of this. This is a suspension animation, which is what I use for like. How do I put it? Like, oh my, I don't know. This is just really smart. He could have theoretically used this to have the leg walk. I take it this didn't end up working, by the way. The suspension animations for the biped. Can you make that into the chair? <laughs> Look, theoretically, I could, yes, I could make this into the chair. It did not work because it's a biped. Do they just not do suspension markers and stuff? I'm going to assume they don't. Try walking off a cliff with it. The airborne animations add so much. Yeah, okay. Let me give it a try. Yeah, I'll put one. Uh... Put it over here. Yay! All right. I'm going. Yay! Oh, whoops. I'm falling. Oh, that's so nice. It really does have a lot more personality to it. Okay. Now that this has been passed over to me, there are a couple things I want to do for this vehicle that will make me happy. Um, I really like the animations, so as far as animations go... Actually, is there really any animations that need to be fixed up? I think it's just like the effects. Also, I do not know how to make the flap things like pop open instantly. Should there be a heat system? Oh, so Green's already added a heat system. He has it so you fire. There's even the HUD reticle, if you notice. It's generating heat, it's getting hot, and then it's getting hotter and hotter. And then it overheats and it flashes like that. So there is a heat system to it. Can't just spam it forever. 
Such a doofy looking walk. Honestly, this is a lot better than what it used to be on the old Locust. Trust me, this is this is much better. The Halo Wars Locust animation is not the best. This I really like this one. Well, does he know that's the same animation? Wait, what? This is the Halo Wars walking animation? Why didn't you use the new one? <laughs> Tentacular Taco. Thank you very much for the three. Much appreciated. It looks like a tiny purple Quadraxis for Metroid Prime 2. I'm going to be honest, I was not a Metroid player, so I don't entirely get the reference, but it also looked like a tiny Scarab. The new one looked like shit, just take my word for it, this one is way better. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Alright, I do like this quite a bit. And it looks quite spicy. But there are a couple things. I have some... I have some beef. I have some bones to pick. Xerxes, with the $5 tip! Thank you very much, I appreciate it. For such a cool vehicle, it could really use a beefier sound effect for the laser, like Guilty Sparks Beam or the Focus Rifle or something. That is exactly what I was thinking, okay? I am going to be an asshole today, at least for the effects. I really like this vehicle visually and animation wise. It's great, but, but I want to beef up the effects that really needs uh, to happen. Skaboodly, thank you for the fiver. I can't wait to see those pistons vent the heat. Also, I would tweak the pink halo around the cannon because it kind of obscures the model, but it's up to you. Yeah, so I'm going to tweak the, um, I'm going to tweak all of the firing effects and stuff on the Locust today. Uh, these are using all the old effects for that Green did like months and months ago. I think both him and I have agreed like we could do better and that's fine. Both of us are honestly a lot better at effects than we were like a bit like quite a while ago. Uh, there are no footstep sounds right now. Green was messing with them, but I don't he didn't send them over. I don't know if it's because he didn't like them or what, but I'll just I'll just get some, uh, some new sounds. So the beam, I'm going to redo it effects wise and sound wise. And... I might, I hope you don't mind, I might redo the, or like, not redo, but like touch up your landing animation, because it does like a little bounce at the end. I might try to add like some oomph to it, if you're cool with that. Every other thing on here looks great, but that one, it's like a little, it's a little bit like, it has like the right idea, but I, I think other than that though, I, like this opening mouth animation is perfect. The walking animation works great. It uses a bullet to test what surface each leg is over. Oh, has different walking sounds based on hard and soft surfaces. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's why it sounds like a bullet. I was wondering why it sounded like a bullet whenever I was walking. Wee. Oh. Also, I noticed that the aiming animation doesn't seem to be activating for the body. Is is it just like not set up? Is that why? Because you have it in the file, it's just not activating. Is that maybe I can just like fix that really quick? Because I'm I'm pretty sure I saw that. I, no, I know I saw it in the blend file. Let's see the animation graph. I forgot something. Didn't realize it. No, no, no. It's fine. That's like a really simple thing to overlook. Uh, blah, 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 base. Yeah, you have it all set up. I think you just didn't put the, um, yeah, you just didn't attach the blend screen to it when you reimported it, probably. I think all I had to do is that and then. Oh my god, what's happening? I think that should fix it. It was just a quick. No, oh, that didn't fix it. Hello? Alright, that's, that's fine. Uh, anyway, don't worry about it. I'll do that and then. Wait, these are base anime? Oh no, base, 90, 91, 1. I always hate working with these, these are like the worst. Aim move up and aim still up for both set. Uh, that's fine, I'll deal with it later. Overlays, it looks like you set it up all right. I don't know, it's just being weird, it's just one of those things I'll figure it out later while pulling my hair out. Also, I oh uh, wait, let's see. I also overall feel the whole thing should be. Bleh, I also feel the whole thing should be slightly more sluggish, but I don't know how you can tweak that if the animations are at a certain speed. 
Um, technically, the entire thing works based off of the speed it moves in Blender, so that controls its walking forward speed. I'm really surprised the aiming thing isn't... Oh, wait, is this a new... No. No. When are you going to make a YouTube video? That's a good question. I need to make one for Overpass still. I've been putting it off for a long time. Let me do a zero degree turn animation so the laser does not clip into the tops of the knees. Does the laser clip into the top of the knees? I didn't notice if it did. Oh, wait. Am I... I was just blind? Wait. Oh my god, Green. I'm actually so dumb. I It's so smooth that I just didn't notice it was turning. Look, you literally can't even see the animation when I turn. But then I switch... I'm so dumb. Look, it is turning. Oh my god, I'm actually so stupid for that. I actually don't think it was working originally because the blend screen wasn't hooked up to it. But after I did that, it ended up using your animations. <laughs> it's just that smooth. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Okay, your animations do work. I'm just dumb. I'm actually very dumb and stupid. Okay, now what I do need to know though is the weapon overheating will control these little pistons on the back right here. So as it overheats more and more, these pistons are going to rise up. And then at, then once it's like fully overheated there, or actually wait, I don't think they should rise up. I think it should overheat. So there's two options here. Either when this thing overheats, these two pistons will rise up slowly and then like vent steam, or when it finally overheats, they shoot up and steam comes out and then they slowly regress back down. You're gonna have to make the pistons part of the head. Oh, because the weapon is attached to it. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Unless, attached to the vehicle, which is attached to the weapon. Let me try something. I'm gonna see, I, there's a chance, there's a tiny chance that the function can go through it. I don't think it will, but I'll, possibly. There's one function. Illumination, okay. There's one function that might possibly make this work and I'm gonna see. No, it works on the head, but basically I was just to test out if this would work or not. I uh, I made it so every time I fire the lights were going to come on to see if the function did anything, but it only works on the head. So I'm going to guess there's not really any way to um, to do that unfortunately. Hmm. Got the legs turning even in the air. Yeah, it's really cool. So in that case, let me at least switch things back to how they were really quickly. So that way the lights come on when there's a driver in the vehicle. And they turn off when he gets out. Oh wait, my bad. That's the driver's seat occupied, not power. Now it's good. Sure, the animation was rejected and get his opinion? Wait. Uh, okay, so let's see. I like this as it is. Realizing now that I can't really do illumination and stuff tied to this unless I switch the model over to the head has me a little bit depressed. I'm not even going to lie. That kind of sucks. But I might be able to do like a cursed hacky workaround with it. For now though, that's fine, I suppose. Now that I think about it, actually, wait, I'm missing everything. I'm trying to, did I miss it? Oh shit, wait, I'm dumb. I, sorry, I, I haven't eaten anything today, but I've had a shit ton of coffee. So my brain's just going like a gazillion miles per second. I did see your super chat, Skaboodly, and yours, Kiram. But, it just got very distracted. But, 
Thank you very much for the 10 Skaboodly. Very much appreciate that. It's extremely generous. In my Locust Head FBX file, I rigged and animated the neck to be flexible. I like to imagine the Locust is full like Golo Worms, like the Scarab, but Green thought it was cursed. Oh, wait, let me check it out then. Uh, and also, Kiram had a two as well. Thank you very much, Kiram. Much appreciated. Those two dollary doos. Check the M's again. Okay, give me a second. Let me throw the, um, the files in there and then I will. Uh, where was it? I downloaded it, I think, from here? That's the Colossus, not the Locust. Hold on. Or was it... Covenant Locust 2? Shaders and bitmaps. Am I thinking my. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, let's go to Projinx. Give me one second, guys. I'm just trying to get the Locust set up on the side really quickly. Just about got it. Uh, where are you at? Locust, Skaboodly Green. There's the FBX. All right, let me check this out. So I'll, I'll select everything and hide. Hide everything. And then we'll import. Oh, you guys can't even see. I'm still a bit silly, aren't I? So here is Skaboodly's head rig. Minus textures, but still, you get the point. So this is an animation test, I think. This combat move front, back, suspension test. What is this? What? <laughs> I don't think it's a Skaboodly, I don't think this is what your animation was supposed to look like, to be honest. Uh, I am under the impression that perhaps things May have gotten lost in translation. I'm gonna be under the assumption here that the model itself was scaled incorrectly. Maybe like this. This might be better. I think maybe it got scaled down like 10 times. Um, I think it was supposed to look like that. Yeah, sort of. I'm also gonna go under the assumption that the export did not quite get the... X, Y, and... Oh, no, I think this this might be right. But yeah, I see what you're saying here. Like, that the, the head could stretch a bit and look around. Not have it be such, like, a rigid thing. More like a, a proper neck where it can, like, look up and stuff. You know, he's kind of got a point. To be honest. Let me see, though. Here in-game... It would be a lot more visually interesting if it could look up and down a bit and stretch. Hmm. Hmm. We could try it. I could modify Green's animation and see if we all think it's either like way too cursed or not. My only my only thing is like this exists, this back plate here, which kind of implies that it was never meant to look up. Because it would just, like, bonk right there after, like, half a foot of looking up. So maybe not. Unless it could, like, stretch upwards. When we're oh, I did forget to ping the server. Damn it. Damn it. Whatever, though. Um, I'll consider doing that because that would be pretty cool. But now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know how I would pull that off. I just can't stop admiring the normal maps on this thing, though. Holy shit, it looks so good. I can ping it. If you could, that'd be great. Oh, Tumblr. I, I'm not hearing the sounds for the Super Chats. Uh, Bella, with the $2. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Did you see the 10,000% real picture I sent you? I may have, but let me double check on it. I actually have to go through a lot of my DMs right now. I've been slacking on them, but I will check. So, blood music. Okay. Let's take a look. Here is the head that is currently being used in game. This is the firing animation where it goes 
and then it goes back and folds closed. Why sad music? Yeah, that's a good point. Muted. Listen, you guys can't get me. You do realize that my stream software tells me. It tells me when I'm talking. Um, oh, I didn't realize it had like this little thing on the inside. There's a secret, there's a secret part inside here. What is this? Oh, stretchy. I swear I didn't see anything. I think, uh, what do you think of a hinge of the Banshee enter next animations on this thing? Well, Skaboodly's got the seat in here set up well already. So I think, let me go like this. So if I, if I get in it, my character I think is already like, oh, it looks like my feet and stuff do go in, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, let me, if I get in and I look inside. Oh, I'm just invisible in here. I mean, that figures, but still. Basically, the way it should work is like you sit in here in the little seat, and you put your hands here and your feet go here, and you have to like gamer hunched and you look down at the screen and you're just like. Skaboodly, thank you so much for the 10. All right, check DMs real quick. I sent animation examples. Was wanting to tilt. I was wanting to tilt up and, and bend slightly, add a bit of recoil on fire, and a subtle bob and sway with the walking. Don't worry about it if it's a rabbit hole. No, I mean, I, I'm totally open to the ideas of, of uh, making these animations have more like immersion uh, to them, like a little bit more detail. That's not really any trouble. Let me see. Okay, you sent videos. That's probably smarter than... Oh, I see what you're getting at here. I see. Okay, hold on. Check this out. So this is what this is what Skaboodly was talking about here. Basically, he wants the locust to be like less rigid and more animated. Like this is a bit exaggerated because of the neck stretching so far, but it's kind of like it's kind of like a living creature expressing stuff, which the scarab does a bit because, you know, it, it like expresses with its head and things. So Skaboodly saying like some animations where it's like a bit more dynamic, not quite so robotic and rigid, which I understand, I understand. Um, here's another one. Let me see. So basically just rigging it to turn like this. Have like a, a head bone that rotates up and down as it looks around. That is doable, that is doable. So basically the head stretches instead of being a rigid turn. I do kind of like that and admittedly the um, the neck is a built for it a bit. It kind of looks like tubes and stuff. Don't do it. Why don't you want me to do it? It's not lore accurate. How do you know? Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? It is kind of like a neck. No, please don't. I am 100% sure. Hmm. Okay. Let me let me think about this because Kaboodly does want it to be a bit more animated. But if it's not going to be accurate. All right, I will say this at least. I will say this. It does need to be a little more animated, I think. Maybe not like having to stretch a whole bunch or anything, but maybe like a, an animation where the head like backs up a bit when it fires or something. You said it has to be lore accurate. Rule of cool applies to all things. That is true. This definitely doesn't need to be lore accurate. But I'll take. I'll do a poll. It's time for all of you to decide. It's time for a poll. Oh, okay, that's emojis. So, um, more. Locust animations. More rigid uh, lore accurate. Or, instead of lore accurate, we have the alternative of uh, uh, more cr 
creature like. So keep in mind, I personally am like 50-50 on this. So let's see. What do you guys think? I'll leave it in your hands. I want to. I genuinely want to know. Do you want them to be bending a bit more, or or be keeping like the the rigid way that it is exactly in Halo Wars, which is the I suppose it is technically lore accurate because I mean that's what Halo Wars did for it. So. Oh, I broke it. Skaboodly, thank you very much for the tenor. Again? God damn, you just keep hitting with the tenors, holy shit. Uh, or you could just make it snap at people like a giant tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like that. It just leans in and goes, and just its mouth opens and instantly kills you. <laughs> Yo, how are we? We are perfectly split 50 50. This does not help. What the fuck? Why are you all completely split? What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get, like, a, a vibe from everybody, but we're all, like, we don't know. <laughs> I guess you could say the vote is neck and neck. Ah! <laughs> okay, we, we've had it up for a minute. So, we're, there's a very, very slight lean towards lore accurate, it seems. Wow, that is that is difficult. We really are split here. <laughs> you actually no. Listen, listen, listen. We're all hey, listen. We're all friends here. Everybody, relax. Hey, chill. Hey, chill. Uh, Skaboodly with the fiver. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm dumb. Hold on. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate. It. Uh, I was saying. Also, you missed my last chat. I was saying Green has a point about the head turn. I was just wanting a subtle head bob and tilt. Okay, I see what you're saying. Like, you know, I do like that though. I, I do think it could, it would benefit from like a slight movement. It would feel more alive and it wouldn't be like, is it Laura, is it really Laura Acker that it is 100% non-stretchy and that it's a rigid metal thing? Because if it moved just slightly, it could be kind of nice. Not like a long stretch like in the animation, but like a subtle like look up, look down like this much. And then like maybe it can like turn when it's looking up to the side, kind of like that. Like instead of just going like this, it kind of like goes up into the side slightly. Just stuff like that. Very subtle uh, bits like that might make it feel more dynamic. Like it, instead of just being on a rotating hinge like this, it's kind of like a more alive and fluid. It's, I'm, I think I'm starting to lean more towards that, but honestly, I don't want to make everyone upset. That's like, it's not completely lore accurate. I'm going to die. I think lore won. Yeah, let me end the poll. It does look like lore accurate won by 3% there. So that did win. That did win. All right, it did win. I have to respect it. Skaboodly. Don't tell anyone, but I might make some very subtle animation adjustments. They won't even know. They won't even know. All right, but anyway, so that's that. Uh, I do think most of the animations right now are good. I would... There are some things I'm tempted to change, but... We'll see. Let's do... Let's go back in game... Grab you. He misses the donut rip. Oh, my bad. My bad. Did I? Oh, I did. Joe the Assassin. Thank you for the two. That's it. I'm reporting the poll for harassment. How dare you. You Halo lore fanatics.
Uh, subtle animations are fine. It just doesn't need to look like it's alive, if that makes any sense. It is robotic, in fact, but still very creature-like. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you are 100% right about that. Oh wait, doesn't this, isn't this supposed to have damage states? Oh wait, it does have damage states. Wait, hold on, what? The whole thing has damage states. I didn't realize. Oh, they're just like not fully set up for the rig. Oh. Damage panels. Is there a damaged body? There's the... Oh. Wait, what? No, the damaged body is rigged. These are just extra leftovers, I think. Okay, um, okay, I was just taking a look at some stuff. So it seems like Green and Skaboodly are fucking crazy wicked cool because they already went ahead and did the damaged bits of this. Look, the bottom panel, it, oh wait, am I I'm showing the screen, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Okay, the bottom panel's cracked open, the legs are dented, and all this stuff looks crazy. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. Ripped open. Wait, is it? This is how it's supposed to be UV mapped, right? I don't know what the what it looks like in game, but it seems like the material might be set to the wrong thing here on some of these areas. Is it supposed to look like this? Kind of got like the head texture here. Oh, these are supposed to be like damaged parts, aren't they? That's supposed to be textured to like covenant damage instead, but it's just set to uh Okay, yeah, locust da I'm just dumb. I'm no ignore me. I didn't realize that it was supposed to be the damage texture. That's like the it's like the ripped open banshee fragments and stuff. Okay, cool. So basically, I just need to rig this up really quickly, and then this thing will have some badass damage states. So, instead of going through and worrying about too many animations right now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rig this thing up real quick. It should be pretty good. But I think the way that I'll split up the damage states is that each leg will be a separate part, and the body will be a separate part. Because I think, while I could do it as like, let me make sure that's everything, I could do it per joint. I think it would be more visually striking if the entire leg, kind of like the, I don't know, this is a bit smaller than a scarab. Should I, should I rig it to be completely separate on joints? If the legs themselves are rigged separately on the main locust body, then I'll do it. Otherwise I'll just, oh, wait. All the legs are on one face map, you butthole. Jimmy the Slime with the Fiverr. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. I haven't seen you around, but I appreciate it. How, uh, can you make the leg animations for aiming higher? Where the legs lower and the front legs go... Where the back legs lower and the front legs go higher, the head leans back a little? That would be kind of cool. Like where when it fires, it gets like kind of an aggressive posture. I do like that idea. There are some things I want to do with the animations that I don't know if it's possible to do in 3. I know it's possible to do in Reach, where like the mouth kind of opens up instantly, but like the body kind of takes a stance where it like leans forward, kind of like, like it goes boom and like leans, like this is hard to do. But like, let's say this is the locust, right? It's kind of got like its four legs. That the locust, like it starts firing and it goes wham and like leans forward, in, like it leans into the beam. That kind of thing I would like to do. I don't know for sure if it's possible to do in Halo 3, but it would be cool. I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'll try to think it over, but I'm not sure if Halo 3's simple animation system will allow it. Uh, but Demon... Oh, wait, let me see. 
Yeah, Demon with a Fiber, thank you very much. This is all well and good, but I could delay this mod by saying that none of these vehicles can be hijacked. Not true. The Shadow and the Spectre can both be hijacked. Gotcha there. Um... Yeah, you fucking dingus, you, you rigged the face maps on this so that default interior, these are rigged together, default legs, default interior, and then, wait, where's the body? I'm tripping out, I'm tripping out, this is flood music. So default hole. Wait, what is face map on here? Yeah, I'll just I'll just remove that. And that's fine. And then it doesn't even have a face map. Okay, that's totally fine. Fallout New Vegas when? So I was supposed to do some games today. I was originally going to do, um, whatchamacallit? I was originally going to do Halo Wars today, and I still might do some Halo Wars later today, but I want to finish this up because Green asked it of me. It's like a lot of work technically, but I should be able to knock it out in a quick amount of time. That being said, though, I'm going to have to rework some of this real quick. So this will be default leg front right. Default leg Back right, default leg, front left, default leg, back left. And I'm going to very quickly add all of these to where they need to go. So this will be leg, front, right. This will be leg, back right. This will be leg, front, left. And this will be... Oh my god, a bunch of parts were hidden. Hold on. Ah, that was my mistake. So I grab all that, your front right. Basically, the, the goal of what I'm doing right now is to take each leg and separate them out into what are known as regions. And the cool thing is once this is re-imported into the game, I can tell the game that each region is like its own separate thing in such a way that they can take damage separately. So each leg will now be able to take damage separately. So you're shooting the locust, you'll be able to see its leg like boom, it takes damage, sparks fly, you can see its guts come out like per leg, per instance of them. It'll be very dynamic like a lot of the vehicles in Halo and holy shit, god damn! Thank you very much for the 50 bomb. Takes two to tombo. I really appreciate that. Holy shit. That is very generous. God damn. Thank you so much. What are crazy today. What the hell? Uh, I've, wa I've wanted to send you support for a while, but funds have been kind of tight. Your stuff is impressive, man. I hope you keep the Halo dream alive. I'll keep waiting for that Ultimate Forge release. Thank you very much, Tombo. Holy shit. Um, that is super generous, and don't worry about release because that is coming very, very soon. Um, so yeah, you really don't have to wait much longer, to be honest. Like... Hi, dude. Uh, because, yeah, it's it's more or less ready. I'm just finishing up the Locust today because uh, I promised that I would uh, get the Locust working well. And, um, yeah, I want to make sure that it is, it is taken care of um, before release. Because I know a lot of people are really excited for it. So, Ultimate Forge release when? Um... I was leaning towards tomorrow, but just in case, I like to play it safe. Um, not tomorrow. Let's say, what's that? It's Wednesday, so not Thursday. Friday or Saturday. I know it's a week late, but Friday or Saturday, just leg front right. Just to make sure it is uh, all taken care of, I'll, I'll say that. So these, this is the destroyed version of it. This is major leg front left or back left uh, so basically these are separate instances of the leg obviously they're the destroyed variants um, and I am taking all of these bits of the legs and I am assigning them to instead of being the default state of the legs it is what is known as the major state of the legs as in major damage there is light 
medium, major, and destroyed states for all things. That's just hard coded in the engine. And this. Oh, I'm actually done. This is front left. How much flood music? This is. Um. Oh my god! What the fuck? A demon also with $50! Jesus Christ! Thank you so much! What the fuck? Both you and... And... Uh, it's both you and Tombo. What the... Thank you! Jesus, you guys are actually insane today! The support is crazy! Uh, I'm gonna match that in Take-Two's honor because they said they wanted to show support. So this one is in their name, not mine. Well, Fuck, I appreciate it, and Tombo, I, like, yeah, actually, thank you so much, both of you, like, fuck, <laughs> ah, uh, I'm fine, but yeah, seriously, thank you, I, I genuinely appreciate the support very much, like, the idea that I can be out here doing all of this um, is a little bit crazy to me, just like, Halo modding, like, day-to-day, -day, more or less, like, full-time, honestly, is, like, <laughs> insane. And I, it, it really wouldn't be possible without all of you. Like, this is not something I can just do and, and get away with it. Like, I don't have to sell my soul to sponsors or anything like that, which, I mean, not, no shade to anybody who does. Like, I get it, but, you know. Um... Good God! Okay, guys, guys, guys. Ah, uh. <laughs> with the 10. First of all, thank you very much. I just sent you the correct textures for the exposed damage parts and a pick of what it looks like. Might have to assign a new shader for those areas. Also, you have to save the textures as tips. Okay, phenomenal. I will make sure those look um, just how you envision them. I'll get them totally set up. Thank you very much for the 10. I appreciate that your 10s very, very much. Oh my god, my heart. <sighs> Victor Dyson, aka Sky, with a third 50 bomb. Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. I don't even know what to say to that. You guys are actually insane. Thank you so much, Victor, um, for that. Uh, uh, for that 50. Ugh, I, I appreciate it, honestly. I don't even... I don't know what to say to that. Other than... Just thank you very much. That is ridiculously generous. Um, three for three. Big support for RS and the rest of the team making this absolute dream of a mod a reality. I mean, I feel bad because... Here, you know what? I feel badly because, like, Green and, and Skaboodly have done just an absolutely insane job on this. I, I'm literally just here doing the grunt work, finishing up like the very small things that need to be done for the end of this so that we can all just play and enjoy their hard work, so. But yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I, uh, ooh. I'm just gonna make sure all the damage states are set up. So major, wait, major back right isn't set anymore? Okay, that's fine. I'll take major hole and hide it. And then this will be the back right leg. Leg back right, assign. Leg front left is good, and leg back left is good. Okay, yeah, looks like all the legs and the damaged body is set up, so the damage states will work correctly on it. Uh, <laughs> keep donating, he's nearly dead. Yeah, of course, yeah, absolutely. Kill me, please. Uh, please and thank you, murder me. Thank you so much. All right, so default. What is the default legs? Does that do anything anymore? Did I get rid of that completely? I think I got rid of that completely. Okay, so I've redone the regions for it. Each leg has its own region now. Um, let me also just assign this to the armature. I think it... I don't know if it has weight painting already. Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. I'll just re... Now I'll rig up the damaged bits so that everything is good there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? There's <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Nick Jackify 
Also with the $50 super chat. Thank you so much. Another 50 bomb. <laughs> Guys, you're I feel so guilty because you're doing this on a stream where I'm I'm using Skaboodly's and Green's vehicle just so that I can work on this on stream and finally get it done. But thank you so much for the $50 super chat at 50 bomb. Thank you very, very fucking much. I appreciate the fuck out of it. Ugh. <sighs> Thank you so much. Well, here's to continuing that awesome future where you can non-stop Halo modding to your heart's content. Honestly, I, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. I, I do want to keep modding this game for like, I, I am one of those people where I have my heart set on this. I absolutely love doing this. I don't see a future where regardless of whether or not I do it like full-time on YouTube or even just part-time on the side or whatever, I will always be doing this. I think Halo has a very special place in my heart as a franchise, as a series. Like, I genuinely don't see a future where I am not doing this for the sake of just having an absolute blast with it because I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. Did I even go to college? No, uh, I don't have a college degree or anything. Never, never went. Um, I just, just like doing stuff. Just have fun with it. It's not that crazy to just pick stuff up and learn a little bit. Let's see here. Phone RR leg one. What is LF RR? Oh, our rear, right rear leg one. The right front leg one. Is Rejected Shotgun technically a VTuber now? I could be a VTuber. You know, I could just turn my face cam off one day, have a little Spartan animated. Easy peasy. Samuel Corger, thank you very much for the two. What I do for a Halo 3 Honda Civic. Hey, don't give me ideas now. Don't give me any ideas. I might just do it. Thank you guys, seriously. You guys, I... I it is insane, like... For all the people who come in here and are like, why the fuck are people throwing money at this guy? This guy's like, they're just, they're being stupidly generous. Like, I agree. Why are you doing that? That is insane of you. I appreciate it immensely. Don't get me wrong. But like, still. Oh yeah, wait, that's actually true. If I'm doing a VTuber uh, debut, it's gonna be as my uh, thick Cortana. Absolutely true. I don't know what I was thinking, that it could be anything else. Wait, which part does this go to? I think, okay, yeah, so this goes to the other part of the leg. So, okay, I'm just rigging this up. I apologize, this part's gonna be like slightly boring. Um, but you know, whatever, whatever. I think that's how it's supposed to be rigged. Hey, yo, Santa Chief VTuber next Christmas. Hey, you missed it. There was, I think it was the day after Christmas. So I was a little bit late to the party, but I did have a Santa Chief VTuber where I had a, I put a Santa hat in game as like a, an attachment on the helmet. And uh, he had like a Santa hat and a beard and everything. It was pretty beautiful. VTuber Johnson. No, the voice actor may be white and getting away with it, but I sure as hell am not. Ciao. Right, let's do phone LF like zero two assign. Demon with the fiver, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I mean, at this point, you could split the money when you get it in three months. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's like, oh yeah, I'd love to split it. Then it's like, I have to remember to do that three months from now. Well, it's more like two, to be honest. Two, two and a half months when it finally hits me, but yeah. It's a slightly, a slightly long time. But honestly, at this point, I should because these are all coming in on like a stream where I'm literally just using their work uh, to to work on. This is right rear leg zero one, um, and Skaboodly with a five or two. Thank you so much for that fiber. Real talk, your streams have been a big inspiration. It keeps me motivated to make cool stuff, and I'm glad the community gets to use it and have fun. 
I'm glad, honestly. I, I, I really am glad. It's crazy to me that you just... You, what you do is what I think embodies the spirit of modding better than like I or anyone else epitomizes, which is that you just make really, really cool stuff and you're just like, take it. Like, like with the open source attitude about it, which I absolutely love, I, I get shit personally, or I have gotten shit in the past because I don't take the time to like make a public GitHub and like upload all my tags to it and keep them up to date on there and all that kind of stuff. Mostly just because I'm lazy as fuck and that's a lot of work. Um, but you go out of your way to do all that stuff and I think that's really, really respectable. And I, I think you should 100% be commended for it. I, I genuinely think it's very fucking cool. Yeah, so props, genuinely props to you for doing that, like putting in the effort and, and all that. Whereas you do have people like me where I'm just lazy as fuck and I'm just like, oh, I'll get around to it one day. Yeah, yeah. And, and admittedly, my stuff's like hardly as cool and as effort filled as yours. Okay, I think the legs are fully rigged up, the destroyed legs, that is. Uh, just this last month, I see, wait, what did I, huh? Have a good one, Samuel. I will see you around. Uh, whew. Okay. Goddamn. Dark Steel, thank you for the two. VTubers are just safe for work. Only fan stars. Changed my mind. As somebody who does, in fact, know VTubers... I mean, <laughs> I'm thinking about it and I'm just like, you know what? That's not true, but there's like, they definitely farm coomers. You know what I mean? Like, it's not safe for work only fans, but they do damn good work farming coomers. That is for sure. Not all of them, but some of them do. You know what? That's a smart business decision. That's why I'm here to announce my VTuber debut will be as Thick Anime Cortana. Ver coming very soon, uh, I will be making my Thick Anime Cortana VTuber debut very, very soon here. Everybody, please stay tuned. This is a big deal. Uh, I really am looking forward to all of you being able to witness this incredible debut. Uh, so yeah, you know, thanks. Thanks. Uh, it's coming soon. Yeah, uh, coming real soon. What is all, what is all this? Why are there little vertices here? What the fuck is that? I'm scared. Uh, let's see. Face maps, vertex groups, blah. Bone, body, and then this is what major hole, a default hole. While this is major hole, okay. Let's see. Let's see. We need a rejected shotgun out of context compilation. Hey, hey relax, relax. I got a reputation up on here. Oh, listen. You missed my dental. Did I? Blueberry? I'm sorry. Let me... Oh, bleh. my bad. I did see that. Sometimes my brain just turns off. I'm sorry about that. But thank you very much for the... Wait, it was a $10 tip? Thank you so much, Boop. Holy shit. Wait, this is backwards. Boop has tipped $10. Blueberry the dragon. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Thank you very much for that, though. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you write a script, you will sound more robotic. Uh, depends. You can read out scripts in ways that sound natural. I mean, my my last video that I did on my Scarab was scripted, but or at least the first portion of it was scripted. Um, but I don't feel like I sounded too scripted. I feel like it's something you can practice over time that ends up like uh, sounding a bit better. 
I'm tripping. What is happening? Are there two, like... Oh, there are. That explains a lot. What the fuck? Okay, this is the only one that matters to me. This is the locust damaged, I think. Wait, is this the damaged hull? No, this isn't. This damaged body right here, which is like the properly damaged one. Which is the one that should be on here, but it's not. Wait, which? There's two damaged bodies. What the fuck? Which one's the right one? Somebody explain. I think it's got to be this one, right? Or not this one. This is the wrong body. That's not like super damaged. Like slightly damaged? Like medium amounts of damage. And then this one is like fully destroyed damaged. I think. Does that mean there's two damage states for the whole thing? Demon with the $10. Thank you so much. Rejected shotgun supercharged $10 to green knight. I did in fact. I, su <laughs> I supercharged all of those to him. Yeah. <laughs> I I will supercharge those to him. Skaboodly, are there supposed to be two sets of damage states here? Help me pay my college tuition deal. Cause this is like the doors are blown off and it's dead. <laughs> Say something, slow motor song. I don't think I will. Hey, well, whenever Scooby comes back around, I'll ask him. I'm gonna assume that this is like another thing, and this is destroyed. Oh. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a separate thing. It's its own entire thing. And instead of this being like, there's gonna be a third damage state for the body. This is when it blows up completely, so it's destroyed. Um, and this is going to get attached to here. This is destroyed body, attached to the right vertex groups. And I will apply the armature modifier. For that, it goes to the correct armature. And then I will parent it to the armature. Like that. And then the other thing I'll do... Wait, what is damage panels? Wait, are these objects that come off of the locust too? I'm confused. Can somebody explain to me how all this works? There's tiny there's tiny locust parts down here and I don't know what to do with them. Damage panels is a section where I'm going to assume these are separate objects that are supposed to pop off of it. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Skaboodly, thank you very much for that, Fiverr. And for clarifying, I appreciate that. I, I, I can figure out how this all works now. Yes, there's two damage states. One that's crumpled with the panel shifted around and another with the panels completely blown off. Okay, I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So I can I can just upscale these and rig them really quickly and it should be okay. I'm going to assume these panels are either shifted off for that second damage state or So these are wait, these are the fully fully destroyed ones. So locust damaged is that. What is object 329? I need to know what object 329 is. Ah, flood music. It is something that'll, it looks like a front mouth panel. 
Uh, more flood music. So I'm gonna hide all head related stuff for the time being. And then everything else here. Including the. What? what cool. So all of the damage panels. And all of the damaged leg parts. I believe our scale is 100 times too small. Not 100 times, 38.5 times? Yeah, okay. Let's rotate Z, 90 degrees. Um, go here. Go back into the idle pose so that I get things where they need to be. Force it into pose mode, force it out of pose mode, so it's reset to the idle state, hide the armature, go back to the bottom, grab all of whatever all this stuff is, all the damage panels, like so, grab all of these, Might as, I'll, you know, I'll just grab it all at this point, might as well. Focus damage is already set, object 329 is coming with, uh, rotate. Z90, there's a damaged head. It looks like everything else is in order, so I'll just grab them like that. Scale it till it's about right, because I think I'm gonna have to eyeball this one. Yeah, it looks like I am gonna have to eyeball this one. Might be set slightly backward as well. Uh, this one has both toes, so I'll have to... Which one has the most toes? Show me your toes! Show me your toes now! Okay. Looks good, looks good. I'll just have to assume that they are slightly offset? On the y-axis, maybe? No, on the x-axis. Yes. Yes. Um, a skaboodly, you s Oh, thank you for that fiver. Okay, thank you. Separated the panels to be crate objects to be spawned when they get blown off. You can see the jackrabbit for an example of how I plan it to work. Okay, I see. I was thinking of the jackrabbit too when you were explaining that to me. Um, and think of another fiver on top of that. There's also two damaged textures, damaged and destroyed. I made separate pieces that are supposed to be crate objects spawned on explosion. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Trying to wrap my head around it all. It's kind of hard to see without textures, so I'll, I'll have to texture these all. They're a bit disorganized the way they're set up, so I'll have to throw them all into a very, um, very organized state here. But I'm getting the idea that I'll need to have the panels hidden for now. I'll hide the whole damaged panels. Why does that, that doesn't hide anything. Okay, whatever, I'll hide all the panels for now. Because I assume these will get blown off later. And these are the properly destroyed parts. So I will I call this locust body. And there's locust legs. And then there's the interior and the doors, and then there's the destroyed body. And then I think these are, were these the parts I was working with before? No, they weren't, right? Really. I'll, I'll, let me, ugh, let me take a look at it with a fresh mind in a second. I have to pee omega bad. Um, let me read that super chat right when I get back. Let me skip the sad, over the sad music. Skip the badass music. We'll get some nice chill music. And uh, we'll stare at this thing's beauty in game for a moment because goddamn, that's a good looking vehicle. Be right back.
What's up, gamers? What is up? I'm starving. I did that thing again, and I'm gonna be honest, this is not necessarily the smartest move, okay? A, a better, higher functioning adult than I would have made breakfast and lunch. And probably dinner before starting a stream. Unfortunately, I didn't do any of those things. So, I'm gonna like order some food real quick. What did this thing I did yesterday? It was really good and pretty filling. Great value, great value. I'm actually like, I don't know, my dad like has, when I was a kid growing up, um, I stayed with both my, both probably getting Maccas or KFCs on God. I'm getting KFC, okay, Ray? I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, it's good stuff. Uh, but I, I, I split my childhood up where uh, my mom, she married this really rich guy. So I would either be living in like disgusting mansion opulence or I'd be living with my dad. Uh, so he, he was like super bill to bill, struggling to pay stuff every month. So I got to see like the two sides of the coin, right? Of like what it's like to, to live in disturbing amounts of upper middle class opulence to just struggling bill to bill and like living with random people he met off Craigslist with my brothers. So I'm currently always on that great value mindset. That's where I'm at right now. Give me that great value. Give me that give me that sandwich, that KFC, nice sandwich, great value with uh, that 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 $11 goodness. This is my tune with the tenor. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> just had a moment where I realized this wasn't an old VOD, but was, in fact, live. It is, in fact, live. In fact, I'm acknowledging your existence right now, tune. Welcome to the stream, and thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it. In fact, um, you said, buy yourself a box of cereal and or a granola bar pack. Honestly, smart as fuck. Smart as fuck. I'm a big boy, though. I'm a, I'm a 6'2 boy. You know, I gotta, gotta eat more than just granola bars. Or I won't, and I will slowly wither away as an inside person who gets paler and paler over time. One day, I'll look like Gollum from Lord of the Rings, and will, in fact, uh... I'll be sitting there, and I'll be like, my precious, my precious. But my precious thing will be anime Cortana with big booba and ass, uh, so, you know, there's that. Which, honestly, let's be real with you. That is way better than a ring. A ring to control everybody and turn you invisible. That's so much worse than thick Cortana. I don't get it, honestly. I don't get it. I don't get the whole ring thing when I, when it could be Cortana. Um, so, sorry, I also missed a super chat uh, when I went to the user restroom real quick. Skaboodly, super chat at a fiver. Thank you for that. Like, it's kind of a lot of stuff to explain. I almost feel like you're getting lost. It might be easier to VC and explain it. I'm sorry it's so complex. Don't worry about it. Uh, I may actually VC with you. Let me just uh, check it all out really quick. I do need to texture it anyways for the sake of my brain working goodly. Uh, let me check. I don't actually think I have the texture, so I may not, excuse me. I may not be able to, oh God, my nose is stuffy all of a sudden. <laughs> May not be able to uh, properly do these things. There's a material called low. Let me just ask this real quick. Is there a low material for like... I know you have like a glow material for emissive bits. That's what it seems. Uh, these just don't look like they're like organized properly. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that these use a the same base texture that's the, uh, the, this here uses. Which is, um, the locust material. I, it seems to, that I was correct in assuming that. Cool, looks much better. Much more easy for a brain to understand. Kiram, thank you for the two. Uh, last super chat for me. Did you check DMs? I apologize. I am not checking my DMs all stream. Let me look really quickly. Oh my god, that looks so good on your end, Scooby Uh Let me see though. Kiram. Uh,
Kang, uh, uh, let's see. Oh god. I wanna watch some of your cursed clips, your cursed Skyrim clips soon, Demon. Let me finish this up. I don't wanna lose my focus and get too distracted because I've, I've literally been getting distracted non-stop today. It is so bad. Um... Oh wait, you have an insane amount of damage textures for the Locust. You even textured these? You're fucking insane, dude. Hello? Okay, I think... I- oh my god, that's actually so ridiculous. Let me download these, uh, textures really quickly. Yeah, no, I don't- I don't think... They, maybe they were in the drive, I, I wasn't actually sure, but let me throw these in here really quickly. Uh, so there is, in fact, damage material. So all these areas here where, like, the, the locust has taken damage and it's literally called locust damaged, uh, in fact, are supposed to have full-on textures. Uh... This is default diffuse here for that. Look at that, there's literally a material for this where like, he went through and added like different layers of internals and then here, let me add the uh, the normal map for it. Well, uh, and the normal map is here. We'll set that to non color. Nice. That's some depth to it. How does it look in here? Is that set up correctly? I feel like my scene sucks ass for depth and stuff. But yeah, there you go. Actual destroyed bits for all this. Like, that's pretty wild. Literal internal components. Not just, like, crazy bits sticking out. Bits and bobs. Demon, thank you for the fiber. Appreciate it. I'm on my way home now. Let me know when you're swapping to Halo Wars 2. I'll be playing Skyrim until then. I'm trying to get all the achievements for it. If you 100% Skyrim, I'll be impressed. That is a lot of achievements. That is so many achievements. This material low. I don't know how you set this up so well. This is so nice. Okay, I get it now. I get it all. Um... The locust damage. So this is actually... Is this the destroyed state? So I did... I got these. This is locust damaged. Is that the same as the one I rigged up though? It looks like it is. No way, these are way more messed up, aren't they? The locust damaged is one state, and then this is like locust fucking completely obliterated. Like missing toes, and it's like extra crumpled, I think. Uh, let me double check. Yeah. Yeah, no, so that was damaged. This is like destroyed properly. The toes are out, so when people sniff these, they only get like half the satisfaction. So that's that's fucked up. And then this is okay. Yeah, these are mega fucked up. So yeah, I'll get these all. I'll get these all put together. Yeah, yeah no problem, man. No problem. All right, so we'll go. I'll I'll, re I'll, blah, blah, I'll rig up the legs first. <laughs> I didn't like that sentence. <laughs> uh, Skaboodly, thank you for that fiver. Oh god, okay. Would it be okay if I be seated? I keep would. I could keep spamming donut comments, or I could walk you through a lot of problems I'm seeing up to you. Let's just VC really quickly. That way we can, because uh, I'm gonna be get super confused on all this. I'll have to just like work it out myself. Yeah. So let's uh. We'll, we'll call. I think I do get the gist of it, but yeah, here, let me give you a call real quick. Hey. Hello. Uh, let me turn you up a little, but yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Um, 
so yeah, um, I got my magazine open right now, and what I'm noticing is the what? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I'm gonna mute your stream because I'm echoing with a huge delay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna like mess your brain up super bad. Yeah, yeah. So, um, all right. So what I'm noticing is on the like destroyed state of one of the legs, yeah. like the remix, there is a middle part um, that has like in your blend scene, it's got a missing green texture. That is actually part of the cockpit shader. Um, oh. So, oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, I, I haven't touched this in like um, a month or something. So I like, I forgot uh, some of my workflow. Um, it's but fine. That's, yeah. That's kind of why I need to like, do this real time um and then i think the same goes for some of those green bits in the neck they they also are probably going to be the cockpit shader okay is the cockpit shader the uh head like the head part um the cockpit shader is like you know from the cockpit and then there's just bits and pieces of the destroyed parts that are using the cockpit shader because what i did is I basically just like flatten the UVs over like any ribbed surface oh. to make like a metal hose, right? Right. <laughs> and like it, it's a super cheap way. Sometimes I get away with like just making random garbage, um, you know, because it's destroyed or whatever. It's not really an important detail. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Just reusing like different areas, UV map it over there, call it a day kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so the cockpit, I, I just realized because I haven't actually looked inside the cockpit since I've been in the scene. Yeah. Um, is the cockpit a separate thing? I don't remember. There was like the head and the body, but I the cockpit should be part of the actual body mesh, but it does have its own unique shader. So yeah, in your blend in your blend scene, it's just like green. Yeah. Um, so if okay. you just load up the textures, it should all work. Gotcha. I the textures were all packed into the which I'm gonna call it the scene, but I do have them all in the data folder because Green sent me his entire in-game data folder, so I can just bring those over super fast. God, I'm so sorry about this. Like there was like there was the Cove Locus folder and then I'm like, oh I'm gonna make my own thing. So I made Cove Locus 2, but then I didn't like replace the original Cove Locust. And... Oh wait, I see now because there were I'm dumb. I thought there was only two shaders to this whole thing, but it was going into the other folder. I did not understand how the whole thingy worked. Yeah, but... no, it's it's mainly my fault. Like I, I was just like working. No, no, you're totally things. fine. <laughs> I I should have just asked more questions before I came onto stream to work on this thing. So no, no, you're that. good, man. Like like you just got to realize I have a single brain cell, <laughs> and it is dedicated solely to 3D character art, and I'm just overclocking it to expand <laughs> my ki my skill set. <laughs> <You, laughs> that's true. I, I, okay, I mean, wait, hold on, let me rephrase that. That's not true. You're obviously very fucking talented, but you are uh, you are going through quite a bit to get all of this working here. I'm pretty oh, yeah, fucking I'm... impressed that you were able to pull all of this off. You've been working with Green to actually learn how to mod uh, all of this stuff, which is fucking insane. Dude, he's been teaching me a lot of stuff. Like, like, no, like, we, we, we really need to give, like, a lot of credit and attention to Green. He's, like, been teaching me a, a lot of stuff. Like, he, he, like, teaches me enough to kind of, like, um, you know, learn on my own and go from there. But, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, he's been teaching you a lot. He's, 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 I've literally talked to him about it. He's like, oh, yeah, Skaboodley's, like, been asking tons of modding questions and stuff. I'm like, oh, no, he's like, yeah, like that long story short that you've just been like learning a shit ton. He's like, yeah, because normally Green doesn't even like teaching people too much. It's, but I know that with you, he is like actually really happy to like, because you actually are going through putting so much of it to really, really good use. I think like we just have the same like mental illness where we have this <laughs> feverish like need for perfection and just like way, way overly high effort mods. <laughs> I know the feeling. I absolutely oh, yeah. know the feeling. I used to have insane perfectionism. I have like, I feel like I've waned down personally over time so that I don't feel like the nonstop insane need for everything to be perfect. Yeah. But yeah, dude, like, you, you know, take care of yourself, drink water, touch grass. I, I touch grass sometimes. I do. I'll admit. Yeah. Sometimes, not all the time, oh. but you know, sometimes. But yeah, so uh, is it all kind of clicking together now?
Yeah, I think I'm getting how it all works. The materials look good, so I can understand and read things visually. I see now that, like, this is... So there was, like... You have two sets of damage states, which I was just confused about at first. Because yep. I wasn't sure where Green had left the project. He didn't leave me, like, specifics because I didn't ask, to be fair. But now I see yeah. there's, there's like, a major damage state, and then, then there's, like, a... So there's, like, a medium damage state, and then a major yeah. state. Yeah, so basically, the way I structured it, there is your regular default locus. It's clean, shiny, and beautiful. Yeah. Then there is uh, your kind of crompshy locust. It's just a little crompshed. Yeah, he's a little, um, little crompshed. Crom he's okay. a little crompshed, but he's okay. And then there is a damage state. I think there might be fucking three damage states, actually. Um, I don't even remember. <laughs> what did I do? I mean, it's fine. It's been a while since you worked on this. I, I get it. I, I just, like, I, I wake up one day... And like all of this modeling work is done. Um, uh, there is the first crompshy damage state, and then there is a, a damage state where the panels are like kind of creaking off, but they're oh, still attached, right? Okay, okay. And I see then that. after that, there is a damage state where those panels are completely blown off, and it's still walking around, but it's like on its last legs, no pun intended. Um, and then. Pun taken, pun taken. And then I, what I did, like for the finale, is I, I, like some kind of psychopath, I pulled off its legs, um, and, uh, like all of the different pieces are like, you know, their own little crate objects. Oh. Like the head, you can see right oh. there, the head. Yeah. That, what you're looking at right there, that that's like the stuff. That's the detritus, or that's like, if you blow up a phantom all the little bits and parts roll around, right? Yeah, like these here, they come flying off. Yeah, that is not the playable vehicle. That is like, it's dead dead. Okay. So yeah. the head technically shouldn't even be in the scene. I'll have to like, yeah. yeet that, that out. That panel? Then... Yeah. Yeah, that panel, it like, again, that blows off on like the medium damage state or whatever, or like the, the severe damage state. Um, okay. But yeah. So there, so, so to like reiterate, there's, the medium damage state where it's crunched a little bit, which is, if I am not mistaken, uh, not this one. Let me hide all of these. So, and this one's also, where is this? Destroyed body. Uh, where did I put it? I've, I've got to organize this a bit more for my own self. Because destroyed head, no. Locust damaged. Again, okay, there's this I'm one. Not, I'm like learning Blender, so um. yeah, you're you're having to like learn quite a bit. So there's this one, right, where the back legs are, the legs and everything have fallen off. Yep. And that's actually where's this located? What are you? Oh, it's the doors. Okay. So there's the damaged one, which I think I've actually mixed together two of these, so I'll have to unmix them. Yeah. So destroyed, um, so destroyed, I'm assuming, is like properly 100% destroyed and dead, yeah? Yeah, like the, when it's like completely dead, I imagined it would kind of work like the scare death where like it explodes and then all of its bits and pieces just kind of like Go fall to the ground. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then all of those bits and pieces that come flying off are the panels. Um... The panels and like the the leg, like that leg right there is a dead leg because it's not connected to the actual body. Gotcha. It's like a whole lot. Oh, okay. That explains why it's like, uh, like it's not connected to anything. It, it like it's not even rigged up to the same rig. I or yeah. Stuff. Think of it like like you know if you see like the the body by itself or the leg by itself or the head by itself, that's like a skeleton or a bone, right? Mr. Bones got hit by a bowling ball or something, and now he's just, you know, scattered everywhere. Gotcha. So literally, like, all of these are just, yeah, it just, it, it falls into different pieces, and it's yes. just like, okay. If, so, if it's a separate, like, part or piece that's independent, then that is the dead crate object. But if it's, like, part of, like, the whole vehicle, that is one of the damaged states. So the other question I have, then, is on yeah. these panels that pop off, I yeah. noticed that they do line up with, um, like, the destroyed legs, I think. Yeah. So this is before I really... This is before Green kind of walked me through how damage states actually work. Mm -hmm. And I know now that to create crate objects, um, 
you know, to do that kind of like pop off spawn effect. I know now that they're supposed to be like, you know, zeroed out in the world and they're supposed to have their pivots centered and all that. Yeah, um, yeah which is no problem. Yeah, but I guess for this example, it helps that they're just kind of in the correct placement. Yeah, which uh, that is nice. That is helpful. Um, so this is wait, what is this? Oh, yeah, there's another panel. Um, so there, there's all these panels and stuff, but you said that there was a second state. So basically, the way that it's set up right now is the body takes damage. So you have base body. Let's just pretend like the, the hole is there as well. So this is perfect. And then it starts to take damage. It does not immediately... It's a gradient, basically. I'm trying to it's just... It's a gradient of crunchiness. So this is not the second state. Because the panels are not just ripped up slightly here, right? Uh, uh, I, I have to. Your your stream is like lagging from what you're saying. Oh, gotcha. Um, uh, so, it takes damage, and yes. you said there's a version where it's just like crunched. Yeah. So this one is not destroyed completely. This is like the middle state. Is there a state before this where it's supposed to also have? Let some me open panels on it. Um, because I, I, I kind of have to like remind myself how the hell I did all this. You're fine. I, I know I'm, you did this a while ago. I'm gonna like I'm gonna create a lineup actually. In fact, I think I did make a lineup, and I posted a screenshot to your Discord. As a matter of fact, that sounds um, about right. Yeah, just showing. Hey, I have damage states. Um. Uh. Oh wait, these actually okay. do line up pretty well. Okay. Okay. I I don't know how clear this is gonna make things, but hopefully it will help. Hmm. Um. This scene might not actually have the the. Oh wait, oh, it does. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do I only have one? Prompt. So how I'm, the hell did I do this? I think I understand that. I think I'm seeing some stuff here. So technically, you have one, you have one damage state, and then you have a destroyed state, which is like technically, technically two extra damage states, right? I think in my head, I imagined that, like the uh, the panels could be attached to the rig somehow. Yeah, and then they pop off. Because I didn't under Yeah, I didn't understand how it all worked. Well, we can still so technically do that per leg. Yeah, but it, it, like now I know that in order to have like a state with the panels dangling off and with them blown off, you need to have two damage states. One where those panels are physically attached to the rig as part of the 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 entire locust object, and then another version where those panels are just deleted yeah which That's i can do I... I can duplicate these yeah, panels yeah, yeah. and attach okay. them as a separate damage state and then have like another one where it's the same thing but without the panels and they've like popped off as an effect yeah that's what i meant to do but i was just so focused on creating the models that I, and i didn't know how to properly set that up for blender no no no. you're totally right. that's just what i want to understand i get it now it's totally yeah. fine okay. um okay so basically i'll make like a damage state where there, it does have the panels on it, and then there's another damage state where it doesn't have the panels on it. And then the final state is like... It's not really a final state, because the legs just kind of come flying off. Yeah. But, okay, yeah, I can... Yeah, yeah, it yeah. all just kind of explodes, which is honestly like a really good way to do this thing dying, because... Uh, yeah, that just works out really good. Okay, sick. You're just going to have to do a lot of control J-ing, basically. <laughs> yeah, okay, no problem. That... I get it now. I know exactly how I want this, or I know exactly how this is supposed to be set up in game, and oh. I think it'll be good. God, if I had explained all that in chat, you'd have like a hundred fights <laughs> by now. You don't, you don't have to explain it in chat either. If you just like DM me, I'll try to keep my DMs more open. I don't want to like, I, uh, but I do appreciate it immensely. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no worries, man. Um, all right. So, are you good to go? Um, I'm good to go. I can go ham on putting this all together in the different damage states now. Cool, cool. And, like, you know, we can probably just BC again if, if we need to check. Yeah, if I have any more questions or if it seems like maybe I've misunderstood something, just let me know and I'll just I'll go for it. All right. Dope. Have fun.
All right, I will. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I just saw this Jesus Christ demon with a fucking what is that like the how many 50 bombs today, dude? Oh, that's so many. Thank you, demon. Good lord. That's so fucking many. Thank you very much for the 50. Bro, Tato ignoring chat. Yes, yeah, sorry. I did ignore chat for a little bit there. I was looking <coughs> at bits and pieces of chat coming by. Um, but yeah, sorry, I did. I think I ignored some super chats scrolling up. Yeah, okay. It looks like I did miss some. I missed two from you, Demon. Sorry about that. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that there, me and Skaboodly were like on the same page as far as like me understanding what he had intended for the Locust. So I think we're good now, though. So let me go back. Thank you very much. First of all, thank you seriously for the 50. That is fucking ridiculous. But thank you also for the 10. Much appreciated. Um, I need to hear my own voice, but also tell Skaboodle I'm going to pay him to make a banished captured elephant. He has no choice. He will take the money. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna have to work that out with him, all right? You know, I'm sure his DMs are just as open. But, I will say, the concept is pretty cool. Uh, and thank you for another two. You said, read the yellow donut. Okay, listen, listen. Sometimes I get distracted, okay? Sometimes I gotta go back and catch up. But I see you. I see you, all right? I will know you're not ignored. I'm here. You're trying to say something to Skaboodly. Oh! Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, well, you've heard it, Skaboodly. Whether you want to or not is up to you, but... God, my voice sounds disgusting. No, listen. The pro tip that I've learned being on, like, having to make videos and stream so much over time is that everyone hates their own voice. I hate my own voice. Well, okay. I actually don't hate my voice anymore, but I used to hate my voice a lot. Um, it turns out, over years and years of hearing your own voice, eventually, you'll just go... You'll either stop caring or you'll get an ego about it and be like, you know what? Somehow, I actually like my voice now. It twisted from me hating my voice so much to no longer hating my voice completely. Okay. That said, it's time to get this thing looking spicy as fuck. Super fucking spicy. Um, I don't know... Is this supposed to, like... I'm not 100% on how these are all supposed to be positioned. I think I'll manually reposition them a little bit. Uh, but that's fine. So, basically, basically... I'm gonna check my food status real quick. It's looking good. Okay. Basically, basically... Uh, I'll slightly rework how all of this stuff works. So, I'll hide these panels real quick. And I'm gonna sort of kind of merge everything and I'm gonna get this working really clean So if you notice on the right side, it's a bit messy right now. I didn't quite know where everything went But now that I know where it goes I am going to take full advantage of that So I'm gonna save this as Remastered 2 because I'm gonna make some pretty major changes to it. Oh my god. My food got picked up guys My fucking food's on the way <laughs> Let's go Okay, locust and locust body. These are good to be separated out. I suppose these are the clean, nice versions. I'll hide those. They're set well. There's also the interior model uh, for the interior properly, which is good to be set to its own object and its own region. And the doors as well are set to their own region and everything, uh, which seems to have been pretty good for, for everything. So there's that. And then we have a second object here, which is the body. I did it earlier. This is like the fully destroyed body, basically. It's very mangled. I'm gonna go ahead and say, wait, father, you missed my last stream loves donut back when you're talking about wanting to be anime Cortana. Oh Ashlet, I'm sorry. Oh, I should have checked them. That's that's on me. I checked super chats, but not stream loves. My bad. Apologies. Oh yeah, you you tipped three dollars. I appreciate that. Thank you, Ashlet. Rejected is having an egg moment. Listen, if I were going to have an egg moment, it would 100% be as anime Cortana and as nobody else. That is simply the nature of my life. Listen, I, I made it through VR chat for years, putting on both male and female avatars. Never had my egg moment, but now with anime Cortana, I don't know. Things are looking different. Um, I think I'm going to make this the 
proper yeah this, okay, so this is the dead one so this is in fact destroyed body okay and then there's also all these other destroyed pieces so destroyed body actually should not be parented it should be separate because this oh no wait this will stay so this will stay this will be the only object that actually stays as part of the body everything else here all of these destroyed bits um besides hold on me Blah, this panel gets parented to here and i hide it so this is the dead body of it and then the damaged body however the one that i just spent a lot of time rigging up you should get a green screen we like i'm gonna be real with you a green screen would look a lot better than this boring ass background i got here Maybe I'll do um, snap cam so I can just green screen out my uh, webcam. Is there a filter for that? Built into Streamlabs maybe? Can I add like a filter to my webcam so that way I don't have to have this overlay all poopy? What filters do I have on my webcam? I have none. Filter type image mask slash blend. What does that do? Oh, they don't have like smart filters. Okay, uh, I'll figure it out later. Goodbye, Spork. I will miss you. I really like your name, by the way. So, yeah, this is, there's two damage states to this. This one and the one that's literally the same thing, but with panels. So I'm gonna call this Locust Major. And I'm going to parent this to the body, the armature body. And then I'm going to do something crazy, a little wacky and wild, because while we now have the major damage state for the body and the destroyed damage state for the body, I'm going to do a wacky and wild thing that's only possible thanks to the conversation with Skaboodly, which is to make a minor damage state. Um, or maybe I should make it a medium damage state? Ah, whatever. The technicalities of what it is in the files doesn't matter. It'll be at like 70, 65 to 75 percent health. We'll hit the minor damage state, and it'll be almost identical to the major damage state, except it'll have all of the panels still attached to it. So I'm gonna take all of these, I'm gonna duplicate them, and I'm gonna parent them to the armature. Oh wait, this might break everything. Oh, it did break everything. Undo. Parent and keep transformations. Okay. So now I have all these panels. The only one that I don't need here I think is the head panel for now. And now I can hide all of these. Uh, Red Knight greater than Green Knight? I think Green Knight's gonna have to pick a bone with you on that one. So, damage panels are cool. They'll exist and do their own thing. And then, so the minor damage state. Let me change my view display because I think. I need to know if there's actually any clipping going on. However, it seems that everything is set pretty good. So, this is the minor damage state. I like how it looks quite a bit. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty wicked epic. And there's not going to be any difference in the body, so what I think I'll do is keep the body in a state like this, and then the major section is actually not going to have a body, so I'll select major hole and delete it completely remove that section from it and then the minor section I will join it together with all the panels like that and then I know it still has this section here and I'm going to separate that out into a different object and this is going to be the uh, what am I going to call this so there's body destroyed and then there's Body. And then there's 
his legs. And then this is legs major. And then this is legs minor. And then this is body minor. Okay, now it's all organized. Oh my god, look at this organization. I know this is not like riveting content, but my brain can rest easy now. My brain can breathe, I can read chat. Oh, sorry, by the way. I know you guys have been talking a lot about uh, Banished Elephant and fighting amongst yourselves. To be honest, uh, they don't have to be the Jackrabbit. It doesn't have regional damage states to manage because I wanted to get it finished. I respect that. But in honor of the Scarab being so fucking cool and having giant damage states for its legs and stuff, um, and this being basically like a baby scarab and having so much effort put into it. I'm 100% doing damage states per leg. That is super fucking worth it. 100%. So for the minor, all of the damage states should say minor instead of major. Which is what the uh, face map section at the bottom here. It's called face maps in Blender. But because Halo was actually made with 3DS Max... Um, oh wait, this doesn't even need to have these. And because Halo was made with 3DS Max, it um, uses what are called face maps for the regions. Uh, I don't know why they're called that in Blender, but they are. The leg is minor. So minor. Leg front right. Minor, leg front right. I know riveting, renaming stuff, but you know, you gotta, it's got to be done. Okay, so that's all well and good. And the interior, so that's a default interior. I may, because the, I'll, I'll deal with the interior region stuff later. But yeah, that is also a thing that I'm going to have to mess with. DS minimum. Yeah, actually, so you wouldn't believe this, but when they were developing Halo, they all had early access to the 3DSs when they were doing Halo 3, and they developed the entire thing in hand on a 3DS. I will say the two screens of the 3DS did in fact increase productivity, and the 3D feature really allowed Bungie to get a sense for what the models looked like in a real 3D. So big props to Nintendo for letting Bungie develop the entire third game in their trilogy on the 3DSs early. That was a huge huge up and a big W for uh, for the game development of, of this series as a whole. Oh, look at this. And yeah, and Nintendo never invited Chief to join Super Smash Bros. That's what I'm saying. That's fucked up, man. Okay, where's my... Oh, order cancelled? My Dasher experienced an unexpected issue during delivery. <laughs> what a fucked up day, dude. What a fucked up day. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. What did I order? I just ordered KFC. It's literally down the street. Like, I wouldn't order this if I wasn't streaming. I would just drive and go get it myself, but... Okay, let's try that again. Credits applied. Yeah, okay, so it's free free delivery. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Payment. Let's go. Take two. Take two, everybody. We're, get, we're getting that KFC order in. He's eating my KFC. Yo, real talk. He picked it up. He literally ate, he's eating that shit. He, he canceled, but he had it in his car. And he, he he's literally, th this motherfucker is eating my food right now. God damn. You know what? I hope he likes it. Okay, I really hope he likes that KFC. Motherfucker. All right, uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's see what the hell's going on here. So hide the major state, we got the minor state. Wait. I'm confused.
Oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, this is the minor damage type, and all looks well. I will have, like I said, I'm gonna have to make some slight adjustments because I'm noticing there is a little bit of clipping on some of these panels. It also looks like some areas just out of pure chance were not marked sharp, so I'll go ahead and take it upon myself to do a little bit of sharpening. Mostly they're solid though, just like this one instance, I think. Go take care of that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, there we go. Gotta, like slot that into place a little bit. And that's looking pretty good like that. It's popped out a bit. Yeah, screw it. I could probably just mirror it, but Whatever. Whatever. I don't even care. I'll just do it this way so it's easier. Uh, Zach Farrick. Good to see you, by the way. Uh, I haven't seen your name in a while. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the fiber. Uh, okay. Hear me out. Beam rifle that spawns suicide grunts where you aim. Would that be OP? That depends on how fast people are to react to the grunts, to be honest with you. If people, like, have super hyperspeed reaction times to the grunts, then I'd say not OP. But to be honest with you, I think, I think most people would get so tripped up by the unexpected grunt, like, running at them at high speeds, that it would be very effective. <laughs> Most people would just not be ready for the bit. What? What is what's happening? Why is there a grunt? It's Kabuli. Uh very pro blender just because it's free literally everyone and their dog knows how to use it now. Or everyone and the dog uses it now. Uh MCC didn't make modding plugins for Max. So I constantly have to import between Max and Blender. Ah. Send your address so we can all order your food. Ah, Joe, of course, yeah. Let me just quickly, let me just give you my address real quick. <coughs> I doubt the MCC team will ever switch over to Blender because, you know, the toolkit's great and all that um, General put together. But Halo was made in 3DS Max, the whole workflow is 3DS Max, and the Blender toolkit is just doing um, like a shit ton of conversions so that this stuff does work in Blender at all. So I, I would be shocked if the MCC team ever ended up using um, Blender. I would truly be shocked. All right, minor damage states, it looks like, are a go. The body minor damage state is a go. I think, however, I will have to get the doors here. Separate them out. This will be minor interior and I also need to rig these up to what the doors use which is hatch underscore R and hatch underscore L doors minor Okay, so the minor hatch is set up. That's good. And then I have to do the interior as well, which maybe I can just, I just like the cockpit texture for that. Sweet, I totally can. That's a time saver. Okay, so then this becomes a separate object as well. And this is 
anterior uh, minor, and then blah blah. Face maps, who cares? You get a face map of interior, uh, minor, interior. And just to make sure the doors, minor, minor, interior. Yep, okay, that's all set up well. Oh, guys, I know. So this is like the most boring thing you've probably watched in a while on here, but I'm just let me tell you, it's very engaging for me, and this is gonna look so sick when you're in game shooting at this thing. The leg, you see plasma sparks come out, and the panels get ripped up like this, and then fucking bam, the panels come flying off to like a plasma explosion. Like it's it's gonna be sick. And look, green already set it up so that I think the markers for the different damaged parts are already set up, which is fucking based. I don't know how he set them up fully, but I'm assuming they're going to look really good. This thing deserves the full skaboodly treatment, so I'm going to try and, and do that to the best of my ability. Although, importing all of the panels that pop off will make me cry just a little bit, but it'll be worth it. Rig the purple cowl to fall off? <laughs> that would be cool, but unfortunately it's too late for that now. That's Oh wait, no it's not. The purple cowl is a separate object. Anyway, uh, legs minor is set up, and then then once you get past the minor state, it goes to the major state, where those parts are just gone. And then after it dies, dies, it just gets a st like, taken a step further, where it's just like properly mangled, toes are missing, it's all gone, nothing's left, millions are dead. Okay, more or less... I think this is uh, completed. Well, and Molly, do I spy a Halo Wars 1 Locust in Halo 3? You do. This was modeled by Skaboodly. Um, well, this is the body of it. Modeled by Skaboodly. Absolutely high tier custom model done from scratch. Skaboodly is actually like insane for making this. It is so fucking awesome. And then my good friend and talented modder, Green Knight, went ahead and he did a ton of animations for it. Got it fully rigged up working in game. And right now I'm just doing some of the grunt work to finish off their uh, amazing work where I'm just going to do some of the effects and make sure that it takes damage. So that all these cool damaged parts can show up in game. Courtesy of Skaboodly. Fuck Flood music. Alright, we save. I'm going to make a quick save of this. Um, because I'm going to actually delete all of, uh, oops, I'm going to delete all of the extra stuff for now. All these extra panels and, um, head bits on it are going to have to go. And I'll return to them later. I'll pull them out of the, pull them out of it and then it should be good. Uh, and then this... Physics model is not going to work. I'm going to have to remake the physics model by taking the body destroyed. And then making this into locust physics model. And I think, oh god, I really hope the collision model still works good. Where is the collision model? Why? There's no collision model! Fuck! Okay, time to make a collision model then. Zachfer! Thank you for another fiver. Appreciate it. Better idea, shadow that's loaded up with suicide grunts that can be unloaded by the driver. Kamikaze for larger explosion. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of makes me think of a campaign mod that would be hilarious. Which would be... <laughs> This sounds so stupid, but, um... <laughs> Imagine this, okay, a... A mod where you play as a Covenant, like a grunt. Not like a literal grunt, but like just a random elite. And your goal is to just command... It's like an RTS, 
but your goal is just to command like shitty units out, like suicide grunts and stuff. And you have to be like, hey, uh, I'm gonna need this. You're gonna you're gonna do God's work, and you're just gonna drive on through to that UNSC outpost, and you are going to suicide on all of them. And you just have to do like menial grunt work like that through the entire campaign. That'd be fun. It's like one of those really long titled animes where it's like, I was reincarnated and I am a useless grunt who commands suicide platoons to attack enemies that I will never beat. And I will admit I would watch that. I would 100% watch that. Or read it. Okay. Body, body destroyed, body minor. And you have doors, doors minor, interior, interior minor. And then... Yeah, that's probably fine. I think it's all set. I think it's all set. I don't want to jinx it, because I feel like... Oh no, I have to make the collision model. <sighs> Sorry, I have to make the collision model for this. So, I'll use the basic body and legs for the collision model. The body and legs, I'll duplicate them, join them, and then this will be the, this will be the collision model. I don't think it's gonna have any issues. It has all the face maps it should need, and I hope that's good enough. Wait. Can't I just... Hold on, I'm processing. I'm pretty sure... You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it how it was. This will be, this will be the collision model for now. I think I can make a collision model that responds and reacts to all the destroyed parts, but... This will be fine for now. Okay, wow, that's a lot. <sighs> Destruction states? Yeah, this is just for the body. I cannot wait to eat so that my brain can work gooder. So JMS. And this will be Halo 3. Generate asset subdirectors for render type to the Covenant Locust Remastered. Boom! That'll get all exported out. I can go uh, here. So this is my projects folder. That'll get exported out and I can go into the data folder to the remastered. What is the name of this? Covenant Locust Remastered JMS. Physics. And collision, so I'll delete all three of these. And get all of these here. I assume, yeah, they've got the same name. That's good, no chances though. Let me go to the CMD. Go tool, render, objects, vehicles. Tool fast, render, objects, vehicles, cov, locust, mastered, final. Get that in. This is totally gonna break everything. All oh, the shaders are gonna be super fucked up. That's fine. That's totally fine. Really, uh, I want to make more human flying vehicles. Oh, human flying vehicles really are the best, aren't they? Large. I can't think about anything crazy as far as large human stuff goes because it's like the biggest thing you. The only like large human thing I can think of is the mammoth, and then below that's like the elephant, but above it is the frigate. So it's just like, you have like big human vehicles, then you have like one large human vehicle, and then everything else is just like space combat sized. I mean, you have like pelicans, but those aren't like huge, huge by any means. Oh, my dasher's on the way. Let's go, let's go. i to make sure my notifications are on just in case. No, my notifications are on. Yeah, my driver just stole my KFC last time. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Okay, the physics model is created. 
And then the collision model. I really hope the collision model actually does work for it. I'm pretty sure if I combined all the objects together and then turned that into a collision model, it would have also worked, but that would have taken a long time, so. You know, screw it. I'm afraid. It's, it's going to break. It's going to... It worked! No way! Yo, look, even the destruction state is accidentally triggered. Oh, that's so sick. Because I don't have the variant set up, like, destruction states will just trigger randomly as I go about. Look at that. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, wait, I just realized, too. I totally did not rig up everything properly. Yeah, okay. I forgot to rig up the extra bits. That's my bad. So they're, they're kind of like all over the place. But yeah, they, they do work. Um, they are valid in game. That's super badass. Demon, thank you for the $2. The Colossus. You would not believe it. I was almost going to model the Colossus. I, I think the Colossus would be absolutely awesome. Okay, I need to go back through and re-rig everything. But yeah, as you can see, the damage states will be working. They do need their shaders, because obviously we got some Da Vinci Code stuff going on. So they need shaders and they need rigging. I totally blanked on that and <laughs> did not rig them properly, which is my bad. It is my bad. Um, so I'll just, I'll do hide body, hide body destroyed. I think body destroyed is rigged. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's not. But it is now. Um, and then body miner. It also is not rigged, funnily enough. Let's fix that. Bone. Uh, body. Assign that. Wait, is it in game? Does the body have damage states as well? No, funnily enough, actually, the body's damage states are just permanently there, which tells me. They're not set up right. I think I might have misspelled something. I think it's good here. Okay, and then doors has default interior and minor interior. Default. Minor. And then the legs, which the legs were totally fine. They were rigged up 100%. Uh, the legs minor, however, are not rigged correctly. This is where things need to be fixed. The right front leg one is fine, I think. Leg two, though, is not. It's got all these damaged parts which need to be attached. Assign that. Check over here. Is everything good on this side? Looks to be about good. We'll check here. It's got a bunch of parts that need to be assigned to it. That's good now. Check the back. Any extra bits and bobs? Nope. Check here. Some extra bits that need to be attached, like you. And that's good now. And then that also means that I just go here, get all the extra bits and bobs, and boom. Oh, my dasher's approaching. I'm so happy. Okay. Double checking that my door dasher gets it right. Thank, thank God. All right, so it looks like it's all set on the minor damage states and then I think all the major damage states are set up pretty much perfectly. All I have to do now is to make the texture for 
the damaged region of the legs here. And then I believe once I have that set up, everything will be good. So there's major and then minor. I noticed that some of the bones were not set up right though. Let me check here on the minor part of the legs. Okay, it does look like everything's set up correctly there. Front right, back right. Front left. I think I did all this correctly. I could have sworn I did it, so I was a bit confused when I went in game and it was not looking fully correct. Um, did stream crash? No, it did not. Cashier's Halo 3 mod looks, or the Halo 3, Halo Combat Evolved 3 or whatever. I, I don't know what it's called. I'm, what is it? Halo 3 CEA. Oh yeah, Halo 3 Combat Evolved Anniversary. God, I always get it mixed up. But yeah, it is a fantastic Fantastic mod. She is stupid talented and did a fantastic uh, job on the mod itself. So go play it if you haven't. Uh, losing staff was not fun, but I actually had some great meetings today that got me pumped for the future seasons. Good, I'm glad. I honestly really, really hope that uh, future seasons of Halo Infinite go well. I would be super thrilled if Halo Infinite somehow um, recouped some of its losses. Like, that would genuinely make me happy. Demon with the fiver, thank you very much. How to trigger Bethesda fan? Buy Azura, buy Azura, buy Azura. It's really you, the grand champion, standing here right next to me. The biggest fan. Oh, love that. Absolutely love it. Oh my god. I have good news, everybody. My KFC arrived. <laughs> Praise the Lord. DMs? Okay, let me see really quick. Yo, wait, green added. Oh, wait, that's sick. Green added, or just animated, I think, some enter and exit animations for the Locust. Okay, wait, what did you say next to it? Bipeds suck, they can't use open and close animations, so the exit animation is scuffed. Otherwise, you clip through the door. But I added Locust. Okay, badass, badass. Give me one second. Let me grab uh, my food real quick. Absolutely wondrous, just wondrous, really, Re really. All right, food acquired. Hey, kitty girl, I love it when you scratch my expensive chair. Oh. We're sitting on so much freaking cool ground. That's pretty much where well, it's partially finished. And you got to talk to the producers about prioritizing stuff that appeals to classic Halo fans. You know. I feel like at this point, that is the smart move. And I think that's super smart for suggesting that. I can't imagine there's most of the Halo Infinite players who are still around right now are like new fans. Appealing to classic fans is huge. Tell me, it can't be true. No, mm. it's true. It's true. They didn't give me a plastic sport 
That's my favorite part. Making me use a metal spoon like I'm some kind of plebeian. Unbelievable. Oh shit. I just got lemonade. Whoops. Ender Slayer. With the fiver. Thank you so much. Mmm, cherub. I think you should do the cherub. What, you see the legs separated like this and you just think? I think I would just make that? Well, you'd be damn right. But after this, because let's be real. Uh, this is going to take priority, but you know what? I'll slap some locust legs on there. Fuck it, I'll slap some actual scarab legs on there and make a cherub. Nobody can stop me. You know, I do hope one day if the MCC team is impressed enough with the, uh, with the state of certain mods... Probably not mine, because mine are like all over balls to the walls crazy and not all that balanced, but like some super balanced mods and like remakes and remasters, like some of the Halo 2 remastered maps for Halo 3 and stuff. I do hope they would take some of those proper quality maps and make like an MCC season where they're just like, Ayo, community update. We found the best mods that fit the game the best and we put them in. I think people would like that a lot. Like, imagine playing matchmaking on the Sanctuary remake for Halo 3. Or the, the proper Lockout remake. Or some of those new maps that are, like, really good for competitive that look like that Bungie made them. Having those in matchmaking would be so cool. Zach Fair, thank you very much for the $10! If we're talking about big human air vehicles, Lich size, you could make something like the gunship from Avatar. With an, oh, that really big one. I don't know what you're talking about. With an interior and different manable weapon stations. And a small station for ODST pods or hornets. That's actually a really cool idea. And you know what's really interesting? There might be a way to do like deployable ODST pods from a vehicle like that too. I've been considering how constraints and attachments work. If you do it with attachments, you can have theoretically up to three um, different ones. Or with constraints, you could have a constraint group that gets destroyed on the physics model, and that kind of has it separate out into a separate object. I'd have to take a look at it, but could be good. I'd be so disappointed if we got boring ass maps in the game. If we're gonna add modded maps, they better have custom weapons or vehicles or some cool gimmick. Hmm. I'd be tempted to agree, but... Love music. I'd be tempted to agree, but that's kind of what the workshop is for, you know? Like... We have the Steam Workshop, so that if you want to play... with slightly gimmicky stuff... we could. Hi, kitty cat. Okay, um... Let's take a look. Wait, what is this? Um, okay, let me... Let's see. I want to watch some Halo mod videos real fast. See if there's anything interesting going on in the community. Because I'm going to eat real fast. I want to finish eating. Enjoy my meal. Skaboodly, thank you for the 10. Much appreciated. They can do proper modded custom games, but they can add certain assets to the back end of vanilla maps that allow modders to have more interesting things available in custom games. That would be a welcome change. I don't know what would be worthwhile. I mean, I will say, for one, you're fully from the ground up custom Jackrabbit. Technically, copyright free, I think. I think it's how copyright works. You made it from scratch. It is inspired by a an asset from a Halo Wars game, but... All I'm saying is that is a very polished vehicle. Could easily fit in a regular multiplayer matches in custom games. Just saying. 
I want Halo online maps at MCC. There are Halo online maps at MCC. I'm pretty sure anyway. Did they add, or did they just add the armors? I don't remember. Rate my scuffed animations and make sure they work, please. I will. Let me just finish eating. And then I'll go for it. Um, let's see, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, this is a mod I have had a decent amount of questions about, and I want to take a look at it. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know what this mod is, and I'm curious. It's a it's another campaign mod where they've made like heavy edits to the Halo campaign. This is Halo CE Combat Revolved. I don't think I've taken a look at this on stream yet, and I'm saying that because I don't think I've taken a look at it at all, but I'm curious. Pause this. This is Halo 3 Combat, or Halo oh CE oh Combat no. Revolved. Oh. And this video is by uh, Pesky Terry, 1990. Rebalance mod? Is it rebalanced? I mean, it's got a new HUD. Wait, wait, what does the Chief look like? Hello? <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's like the scout helmet. Yeah, that HUD is a little bit, a little angular. It looks like reach, but that's that's. Um, Kiram, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Oh shit! Sniped the body with that. Let's go. Hmm. All rebalance mods are boring. Change my mind. Um, I think they can be good. It depends. Like, I personally find like. Full from the ground up new content mods more interesting just because it's all new content rather than like reusing a campaign. But I still think they can be good. Oh, macaroni. So, how, why are the Covenant ships like facing that way? That'd be impossible for them. Okay, so Halo Lord, they were chasing us, so how are they in front of us now and um, looking at us? It's interesting. Damn, actually, they, they kind of have a point. They kind of have a point. These Covenant ships are looking at the Pillar of Autumn and they're between the Halo ring. I get it for like scenery, but let's be real the Pillar of Autumn is pretty fucked in this situation. They got a point. Um, what else we got here? By the way, yes, I am a boomer. I do search Halo mod and then scroll, okay? Uh, it's, you can't, you can't change anything about it. Blah, blah, blah. Insane Halo Wars Cobra! Ah! Resurrection revamp 2.0. Oh, it's another campaign overhaul mod, but, but... I don't know what this one is, and I'm excited to see. What if this this one could be really sick, actually? By funny and Skaboodly! Thank you for the fiver. I appreciate it. Nearly two years ago, I made a uh, they were waiting on the far side of the ring. We made a blind jump. How did they get here first? Oh, Covenant ships have always been faster. I lied. They were wrong. And also, I'm wrong. That means that whole rant that person was going on was technically incorrect in the video. And I'm wrong for agreeing with them. Since then, there Fuck. Has been an incredible amount of creative changes that had to have been quite the I'm trying to volume up. I think it's too quiet. This mod aims to bring a fresh and fun take on the Halo 3 level, the arc. The author, funny anyway, even posted an immersive story on the Nexus mod page as to... Oh, wait! Is this... No, wait, I don't Why? think this is the prequel to the other mod. But I will say, good choice, by the way. Halo 2 Anniversary Master Chief. It's a damn good look. This video is by Ghibli, by the way. So if you want to watch this on your own time as well, Ghibli. There you go. We'll see heretics fighting with the Covenant. It's a cool idea that allows for fun gameplay. So I recommend after this video, 
Download the mod, play it yourself for the real experience. Let's go ahead and get True. started. The Master Chief's armor design throughout this mod is that of Halo 2's with an updated visor. Right after you step off the Pelican, you'll face against the Covenant with imported Halo 2 brutes. I think Ooh. they look really cool in this mod. And after a while, I've come to appreciate the behavior of the Halo 2 brutes. I understand that Bungie mentioned the brutes in Halo 2 were a damaged sponge, and this funny clip they captured illustrates their point. However, I think the brutes are way too easy to defeat in Halo 3 retail, even on legendary mode. These following clips here are from a five-year-old video of mine named AI Behavior for Halo 6 before we knew it was going to be named Halo Infinite. This shows how easy the- One of the things I always thought Halo 3 was lacking was more dialogue and interaction with the Arbiter and solo single player, so it shows him in dips constantly. That's true. To be I guess they probably had to do that for the sake of him being the co-op character, but prioritize the brute because I don't feel like- It would have been nice to have more Arbiter growth. Halo 2 had really great Arbiter content. Oh, that's a bigger- Halo 3 lacked a lot. You'll see soon how much the Halo 2 Brutes change up the battlefield flow Arbiter in this dating mod. mod. Oh, You'll also right. get to go against elites in this mod. Some of the elite Halo models 3, but at the end, the Master Chief and the Halo Arbiter Reach, kiss. My favorite looking elite model. Crunchy. I'll take one of those over fighting a scarab any day. Oh, don't you worry, buckaroo. We're gonna get to a scarab. Oh my god, wait. What did they do to the scarab in this mission? Oh shit! Hey wait! That's a silent sniper rifle! I made one of those ones! Darcy, thank you for the two! Check your DMs if you're doing a mod show off. Here sure. Here is what I mean about the Halo 2 brute AI changing up the battlefield flow. One brute charges at me, head down with its shoulder forward. It gets taken out quickly given all the damage it took earlier, but this blitzing behavior forces you, the player, to not get too comfortable and diverts your attention to the berserking brute. The Halo 3 I appreciate that. have a whole different animation that screams easy headshot. The point is, while Halo 3 brutes can charge the player, they are so easy to misdirect and counter in retail. This mod mixes Bro. it up. Add in the Halo 2. Wait, you have a Banshee AI at this part, huh? The player, making the gameplay more challenging and demanding. Make the player think a little bit more about going against This is a, a tough pack. area to have and a Banshee. The There's not a lot of space to fly around. Having a Banshee available for you okay, to do some pause. Banshee bombing. And then the mod might reward you with So far, I actually really like this mod. But, people, creators of mods, you, might, you may make an amazing mod, but if your shaders end up too bright and too saturated, I will cry. This is too purple. Available for well, I think so anyway. That's just my opinion. But make it slightly less purple or just like desaturate it. Please. You'll see new Please. modded weapons that were not available in the early versions of this mod. There is some cool implementations with weapons. I like this kind of creativity. That's an interesting weapon. Bit of a kit bash, but I mean, I understand. It's really, really fucking hard and annoying to make weapons. I think he was going for the Halo 2 Phantom. I kind of assumed as much, but I don't know. It just stood out to me. Regardless of what their intention was, it stood out a bit. This mod does have many saturated colors in it, so maybe that's just kind of the art style for the whole mod. Just having um, a bit more saturation to everything. I don't know. That was close. Cool. That's cool. Halo 2 Anniversary uh, LMG. Love to see it. I love a bunch of mods where they often take colorization way too far. Why is it always neon? So, in my opinion, the reason that happens is because when you very first start modding Halo, there is not really a great guide for how to do shaders well. And the problem is most people don't go deep into the shaders because it's really annoying and kind of mathematical and tweaky. Basically, there's like very simple settings you can tweak that make the colors... Like, let's say... 
I don't really know the best way to illustrate this, but long story short, people don't want to edit the textures. They just want to change the color on a color selecting wheel. And when you do the easy way out and you do the color selecting wheel to change the color of like a phantom or something, it ends up really, really neon. So usually if you see a color that's really bright, it's like the less effort, quicker, finish, done route. I'm, and the only reason I'm saying that is because I know that from experience because I used to do that. So it's not like I'm like I've never done that or anything. The Prowler has some new incendiary round. That said, also sometimes people just want that color. So it could either be a design choice or they were just like, eh, fuck it. Good enough. Anyway. Toasty. Hey, what up? But don't worry. We have something coming for the Prowler. Put a little bit of taters. There we go, much better. Oh, is that looks sick? Oh, you know what? This person, this might not be the mod being insanely saturated actually. Now that I'm looking, I this person might be using a really intense reshade, or the mod itself might just have a really high saturation filter over the camera. I don't know if it's. I'll take everything I said back if the this person is using reshade for saturation. To be honest, because I'm looking at the scene, the pelican almost looks green due to the camera effects. That is like there's an insane amount of saturation. It's both? Okay. Yeah, because I was talking about the color earlier of the Phantom being like very saturated, but now that I'm looking at it, honestly, I'm sure it looked pretty... pretty, like... Uh, like fitting in with Halo 3's art style, minus that saturation effect. Overall, this is sick, though. I like a lot of the new content this adds. New weapons. I think the thing that excites me the most about this mod, to be honest, is the encounters of the Halo 2 Brutes. Halo 2 Brute... Uh, Halo 2 Brutes look, first of all, the anniversary ones look really good, and I like that they're better than Halo 3's. To be honest, Halo 3's aren't bad, but the animation system for the Halo 2's are like a lot more interesting to fight. And kind of like the guy said, you can't just easily headshot them and like stun them. It's more challenging, and I think that's really cool. That actually makes this Gotta like... Gotta love that Pelican support. Like, I quite edited cool. O'Donnell and Salvatore's Shredden song to the video. That is not actually being played from the pelican in the game. You'll have the ability to wield the. I kind of want to play this one on stream. This is sick. At the same time. Oh, I love mods that let you. I love mods that let you have a jackal shield. I really want to do one of my own. I just I don't know why I haven't done that. But yeah, I really want to do that too. That's sick. Time to commandeer a covenant shadow. Oh, they have the shadow in this mod too. Nice. Oh, it's the Halo 2 anniversary one, no less. Diom. Diom. I have half a mind to remodel the brutes to look more like classic H2, but HD. And they were described between as, as a rhino. It's a cross between a rhino and a gorilla, not just a gorilla. You know, they do have a bit of a rhino ness to them. Well, the shadow. Please don't do jackal shield. It legit, legit gives me a headache. If you mean on screen and like first person then, uh, yeah. If I was going to do Jackal Shield, it would definitely have custom first-person animations. That way it's not in your face all the time. It didn't last long, but the vehicle that does take a lot of damage in this mod is Whoa, this is Armored that? Wraith. I saw it carry three gunners. Wait, that's actually a really cool idea. Hold on. This is a good use of attachments. Like, this is kit bashing done in engine. Now, I've messed around with wraiths before where, like, you take off the top of, the, like, the top turret vehicle and it just becomes empty. But by putting these panels this up on it. Is this up armored wraith? That's so smart because by having the panels up, it becomes a defensible location. That's a genuinely good idea. Gunners, that, that's so cool. That's very creative. 
Once you include the driver, that number is up to five troops. There is a friendly troop wraith that I was able to get five friendlies to tag along with me. We caused some damage to some vehicles, and once we saw the hunters, oh, well, we found the opportunity to test out the mass. I actually really like this mod, but I can't get over the neon colors. So many mod creators do this. Please, please. I don't mean this in a rude way, but please tone down your colors just a little bit. But I really want to show you what this scorpion tank can do to the hunters in this mod. You can dismember the hunters' arms, and they will continue to bleed out. Okay, I'm gonna pause the mod. Uh, pause this video here. If you guys want to watch the rest of this and take a look at this mod some more, this video has been uploaded by Ghibli. And if you want to play the mod yourself, it is called Resurrection Revamp 2.0. Um, I'm going to assume it's on the workshop. I know it's on Nexus Mods. I'll put the link to this video, so if you want to take a look for it, uh, look at it for yourself, you can. There you go. That's the video in the chat right there. Feel free to uh, free to take a look at it. Um, that said, though, while that is a cool mod, it is always fun to take a look at what other people are doing in the community. I uh, need to finish reimporting the 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 the, 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 the thing because. It's, I think it's done. I think besides getting the shaders in, it's good, so. Let's fucking go. I want to try this mod. It should be on the, oh, it's not in the workshop? Okay, well, it, I put the link to the to the video in the description, and that has the Nexus mod link there. Or I put the link in the chat. You can go download it there. And uh, you can install it yourself since I don't think it's on the, uh, the workshop, sadly, but it's a very cool looking mod. The animations, okay, yeah, I'll import the animations pronto. Let me download the file real quick. Okay. Does this replace the other animations too that you have with the Brute Hammer? It's a pretty fun mod, it's just on the Arc too. One thing I do like about it is it adds new encounters as well as removing old ones. Yeah, it, it's cool. It is actually quite cool. There's so many good assets out there now. No, it doesn't replace them? Okay. So it's like add-on onto the hammer. Gotcha. Okay, I think I set this up right this time. Here's to hoping. Wonderful. I don't have the shader in yet, but that's fine. Uh, so it uses a cockpit for one of them. And then there is, oh right, I need to, let me switch over to game really quickly while that loads. It's importing the new model. I do have to convert over uh, the new textures Scooby-Doo sent me for the destruction bit because, wait, Locust destroyed diffuse. Looks different than Locust. Damage diffuse, okay. There's a damage texture. Oh, okay, okay, I'm seeing things now. Okay. Wow, there's so much detail in this locus that even I, I, I am still like taken aback. All right. Let me convert this stuff over. Give me one second. Oh, apologies. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna take these two files. And I'm gonna export these into the game. These are the damaged uh, thingy thingies that go in, whatever. I, I mean, you get the point. It's used for the damaged internals. 
Uh, here's the normal map for it. it. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'll throw these in to the game really quickly. Give me two seconds. Let's see though, real quick. I think I actually fixed the. Besides the fact that the damage states aren't set up, it looks like all the panels and stuff are attached to the legs prop. Ooh, oh no. One of the legs is improperly set up. Two of the legs are improperly set up, actually. The two back legs. Okay, I'll have to fix those real quick. Is there a little, get a little funky there. Then I can export the textures, and then more or less the damage states are in the game. I just need to set it up so that they take damage properly. Alright, cool. Which, now that I'm thinking about it... That's fine. I'll figure out the collision model later. So, why are the legs weird? Legs major, legs minor. Okay, so on the basic legs, the LR is left rear zero one. On legs minor, LR. Oh, it's backwards. This is actually L. This one's RR. Okay. And LR. Oh, I literally just got the legs backwards like a total doofus. Alright, I'll just rename these real quick and I should fix my issue. Oh. Okay, that should fix that, and I assume I made the same mistake on the other legs where left, wait, right rear, right rear, right rear, right rear, left rear, left rear. I don't know how I made it that mistake only on here, but I guess that totally screwed it up. Oh, that actually makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. Um, that said, I do need to change some material names around. So this is Locus Damaged. Legs Major uses... So these use a texture called Locus Damaged, which I will be using. But then these also, these sections use a texture just called Locus? However, however, Skaboodly provided destroyed diffuse speculars and bumps, as well as damaged diffuse speculars and bumps, which means I should be using the damaged ones for this. Let me see here. So this is the destroyed diffuse. It's very dirty and rusted and like busted up. And the bump map. Oh, look how crunchy that is. He just crunched that shit right up real good. And then the damaged one has some crunch. So here's what I'm thinking. When the panels get ripped up and it's like very slightly damaged like this. Not like this. Like this, when the panels get ripped up slightly, I think it should stay its normal texture, right? Th these will just still be regular, just be kind of bumpy and, and peeled up a little. Then, when the panels come off, that whole leg should then use the damage texture. Then, when it explodes, it'll all use the super crunchy destroyed texture. So that, that's the way I'm going to do it and think about it. So... For that then, everything on the legs major that uses the locust material is actually going to use a new material called locust damage, uh, locust, it's already a locust damage material, um, I'm going to call this locust internals, this will be locust damaged, okay, so I've got it set up now in Blender. So I have new materials that I need to grab real quick, which are, I already have Locust, now I need to grab Cockpit, Locust Internals, and then, 
Wait, why is this material called interior? What the fuck? No, this is cockpit. No, just just copy the man. How come interior miner has this setup, but this one doesn't? I got you, you, link, materials, phone thing. Well, that's still not what I wanted. So I got you, you, link, materials. Interior miner has cockpit set. What the f- huh? I'm losing my mind here. What's going on? It's Kaboodly! Uh, thank you for the 10. Appreciate it. Personally, I actually plan the damage textures to come first, then the panels come off. Light cosmetic damage versus severe structural damage, but it's totally up to you. Mm. Okay, I could do that. So then, when the panels get ripped up, it, it's like in a damaged state. Okay. Deal. Wait, I have to plan the texture to come first, then the panels pop off. Light cosmetic damage versus severe structure. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, after thinking about it, I can see why that's a better idea. This will be removed, set to locust damaged, and then this one. Okay, their materials are linked. They both have locust damaged set in a minor state. Set in a major state. Are both set? What is low? Low? What the fuck is a low? Wrong. Interior miner is low. Where did this material low come from? I'm tripping. This interior object makes me want to explode and die violently. Select you. Okay, so now I have just the interior, which I assigned to cockpit. Oh, it worked. Beautiful. That's all I wanted. Where's miner? I still do not know what the fuck the low material is. Hello? It's not used on anything. Okay, looks like everything else is good. It took me a minute, but ladies and gentlemen, it might be about time for this to hit up the game and actually look quite good. Okay, I'm gonna look like this right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the game. We're 
first I need to export these textures out though, because as you can see, the textures are currently um, not working. And we're gonna fix that. Details of diff. Details in RM. Yeah, and looks like the everything's good. I'll be able to test out Green's new animations in a second too, which is exciting. Uh, we put these bitmaps in, so we've got the details part now. <clears throat> Now, before I forget anything, I'm gonna do some shader work so that next time this is imported in like two minutes, and we actually see the locust and all its beauty for the first time. <gasps> oh God, I'm almost died. Uh, it'll look good. Uh, so locust shader is gonna become not locust.shader, it'll be um, locust damaged. I'll, I'll hook that up in a minute. Now that I'm thinking about it, though, does this not... It doesn't have an interior texture. How weird. Also, why is... Oh, did I not rig that? I'll have to rig that as well, won't I? The interior is doing some funny stuff. I'll have to make that work, too. Okay, whatever. I'll keep making it work. Oh, maybe the reason that some of them are flashing and some of them aren't is just due to the way that the variants are set up. That's fine. I'll take a look at it. Uh, for now, I suppose that's good enough. Wait, what? Actually, though, why are the doors minor all the way down here? That is not right. Weird. I think I just need to re-import it. Seems like a bug in the workflow. Did you ever get my K Oh yeah, well we were watching the videos earlier. I got my KFC. I had mashed potatoes. I had some macaroni. I got my, uh, my lemonade. Ah! Um, okay, so I got locust, locust damage, uh, interior, what else, what else, any other shaders, the renamed, we got locust damage, and there's also now locust internals, and then I think the last one I need is cockpit, although I renamed interior to cockpit, it's just that it happened, um, locust, locust, cockpit, internals, Wait, body destroyed should be using um, locust destroyed. Oh, and then body miner should be using locust damaged. Crazy. Doors, doors miner, doors miner should also be using. Wait for it. Focus damaged. Interior is fine. Interior minor. I mean, he'll stay using cockpit. Uh, legs use locust. Legs major. Oh my god! I'm so.
Sorry, I'm not reading chat right now. I apologize for that. I see you guys. Uh, oh, I'm in pain because I made a I made a dumb mistake. The legs minor use the locust damage material. So do legs major. The legs are regular locust. Interior minor. Interior doors minor. So everything that uses the minor needs the locust damage. I copy you. Locust, locust internals, and cockpit, so. That's the other shader. There's only four shaders, right? No, there's not, because there's the destroyed shaders as well. That's a new one. Okay, nearly there. Getting all the kinks and stuff ironed out is going to look really cool in a second. Um, locust, cockpit, locust internals, and locust destroyed. Cockpit, locust, locust damage, locust internals. Locust destroyed. Ah, okay. Oh, what do you mean by the cow popping up? Oh yeah, some people were talking about the cow, like this part here. Uh, disappearing or not not the whole thing there, but just the top part here oh, Let's see let's see Body miner should not be using this material instead it should be using There's legs miner Okay, body miner's good. Body destroyed is also good. Doors are good. Doors miner. Doors miner is gonna need the damaged state, so I will go doors to legs miner, link their materials again. Door no longer using that, now uses the locust damaged state. Wonderful. Wait, I lied, that's not good. I linked it to the wrong one. Okay, doors go back, but doors minor, do not, boom, boom. Oh, I feel like I'm losing my mind here, but I'm, I've slowly gotten the hang of everything. Legs, legs major, legs minor. I did it, all right, fuck it. It's going in the game, here we go, everybody. Fuck, oh my god, my brain. It's good now, I swear. <sighs> okay. Let me import the bitmaps tool, bitmaps. Bitmaps, objects, vehicles, uh, cov, locust, remastered, slash, bitmaps. Okay, all those are in, and then I think the only other thing I need to do is in the Covenant Locust Remastered folder, uh, I need to refresh all this, first of all. And then I need to go to the Bitmaps. Let me double check that the normal maps are set to ZBrush bump map. Yes, they are, which is what they should be. The detail normal map that I think I do need to re-import. Yeah, I do because it's diffuse. ZBrush bump map. Save and re-import. That's good. And the other one should be fine as well. Skaboodly! Thank you very much for the fiber. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, just to give you even more work, could you make the doors blow off to make the driver more vulnerable like the scorpion hatch? Um, yeah, fuck it, I could. I could make it so it has its own, like, damage. It already has its own... No, it's using the interior region. I could split the doors off into their own separate region and give them a separate damage state. I think I'll... 
Yeah, yeah, I could do that. That shouldn't be too much trouble. Anyway. All that said and done. Now that I've exported it, I should be able to... Let me see here. Yeah, 1029, it's 1030. Wonderful, lovely. Replace, and then re-import that render model. While the render model is importing, and before we take a peek at how it looks, I do need to do the rest of the shaders though. So cockpit was already set up earlier. Um, Scoopoodly did that. Scoopoodly and Green did that. So all that's left for me is to do the damage shader, which should be really easily because it's literally right here, damaged. I just, I'll probably make it so this is a duller material going forward. Um, for now, I'm gonna leave it just for the sake of keeping things pretty straightforward. But it's got all the three different maps to it, so that's taken care of, and then the destroyed map as well. This will probably have to be much duller unless it ends up somehow looking really good at the same exact settings, which, to be honest, I kind of doubt, but hey, maybe, you never know. So and then the last is the specular map for the destroyed. Save that, and then Locust Internals. I'll probably redo this material because as of right now, it is, um, it's a bit, uh, it's probably not gonna wanna use a metallic covenant shader with like hexagons on it, but it's fine. I'll take care of it later. Anyway, locust internals, what was it called? Details. Did it not import though? Oh my God, I'm in the wrong folder, hold on. Details diffuse. And then I'll delete that specular map. I'll just give it a full solid one. And then, oh, let's see what it looks like. So this was before, and then. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is. This is pretty cool. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's good. That's really good. Nice, it's coming along. Look at that. Panels coming up and off. That's so good. Oh wow, look at the detailing you did. Your normal map details are really nice. Um, none of this is set up still, so obviously I'm gonna have to do quite a bit. I like this part though. It's cool that that's set up the way it is. These two, I think it's about time I set it up in the model. There's still some things that need fixing. That's not even the destroyed texture. I know, that's just the damage texture. The destroyed texture is gonna look crazy. I think only the body has a destroyed variant. Which you can kind of see here, actually. This is the destroyed variant. They're sticking inside of each other right now. They're not supposed to be, but they are because I think the variants are just set up really badly. So even though I still have more work to do in Blender to re-import it, for the sake of testing it, I do need to set up a variant. So that way um, all of the stuff is set up correctly. So, oh, there's region set. Hull, default. So I delete that, I think. And then, oh, that actually explains why both of them were appearing at the same time. I think if I save this, the whole will, oh, that looks so cool. Look at, oh, I love it. The way that it's just been like ripped open. Oh, that's badass. God damn. Um, this material, I don't think it's supposed to look, is it supposed to look like that? I think I fucked up one of the materials and put a weird normal map on it. Let me see. Shaders, I think that's the internal texture. Detail diffused, detail map bump. Oh, because it's using a detail bump. Bump map is, should just be standard. I lied. Oh, I am just dumb. Uh, 
Where is it? Not here. Ba -bum -ba. Oh. Better. Better. Well, I can make these internals look nicer too. Right now they look kind of purple. Which I believe is because of the Banshee detail map, which if I destroy becomes more colored like that. And then <clears throat> it is using a specular mask from Diffuse. I could do none. What does that do? Oh, wait, that's sick. It's super shiny. I don't know if it should be that shiny, but... Oh, it definitely should not be that shiny. I'll just give it like a... Um, specular mask. I'll do textures for the specular mask. And then I'll do... Instead of the color white, give me... Tags, shaders... Skaboodly, thank you for the two. Um... Appreciate it. Next export, can you try to fix the mouth? Check the M's. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, I still need to go through to do the head. The head is actually a separate vehicle on this. Uh, yeah, they, the mouth bits do need to be sharpened. It's... I'm not entirely sure why how that happened, because I know... It must have been like a weird export issue or something. I, I honestly don't know what, but yeah. The, the head is completely separate, so I'll have to do that secondarily. The default bitmaps, bitmaps... I'm gonna do gray 50% and that should be like a reasonable level of shine. Honestly, still might be too shiny. Let me do... Is there like a gray 75? There is not, is there? I think gray... Yeah, wait, what about clouds actually? Oh my eyes, it's too shiny, it's too shiny! Demon, thank you for the two. Rip Halo Wars Wednesday. Yeah, that's kind of a that's kind of a dead dream at this point. I've been kind of going hard on this. Actually, no wait, didn't I say earlier? I think I said it earlier. I don't know if you heard, but I said I'm gonna postpone games until like probably Friday because I just want to finish Ultimate Forge now. Before I was just kind of slacking and doing whatever, but um, yeah, now it's. Now, Ultimate Forge, I can just release. I'm going to focus on that really hard, and then... Uh, I'll fix. And then I'll... Um, oh my god, my brain is just totally blanking. I'm sorry. Streaming for like nearly four hours does that to me sometimes. Um, but yeah, I'll do Halo Wars on Friday, because I want to finish Ultimate Forge. That's, that's the long and short of it. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna leave this at gray 50% and call it a day for now. It's like sorta of shiny, uh, not shiny, that's fine. Good sure turning down the diffuse contribution? Yeah, that's true. I'll... I'll leave it like this right now. It's kinda cool. It's probably... no, yeah, I'll turn it down. Where is it? The... That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. It's like a slightly dark internals. They're like... Lightly shiny. You're not supposed to take a big notice of them anyway. Oh, this thing's gonna be so sick! Walking around the battlefield with these super wrecked and damaged parts. Oh! This is exciting. I can't wait. Okay, I do need to set up damage states now, so now that the materials are done pretty well, I can take a crack at that. So, let's see. The default state. Let me double check how I did it on the... Um, On the God, my brain do be going places. What is it called? Not the creep, the shadow. That's right, the shadow. Default, and then it goes like through all these. Okay, cool. 
it says probability one, so interior default probability one and a permutation name. Actually, let me double check just so I don't get it wrong. OG Condor is Halo 4 like texture, so there's that. Uh, Halo 4 Condor introduced after Halo 4. Yeah, the Condor came after Halo 4. It was inspired by the Halo 4 Pelican. Okay, medium and destroyed state permutation default. I'll just leave this up for reference. Default, state default, and then add, and then minor, minor. Well, these don't have any initial probabilities, right? Right, okay. And then same thing goes for the hull. Hull has probability of one, the states it has are defaults, and minor, and also destroyed. Okay, what did that do? Hull permutation default. I did name the regions right, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. I worked so hard just to have you destroy it, that nerve. And I'll do it again. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's my shadow? I'm going to double check my shadow to make sure I'm doing this right. I'm pretty sure that I am, but honestly, it's like better safe than sorry kind of thing. Shadow. Face maps. So besides the fact that it has like L5 on it, it is correct. That's just the... And then, oh, it's called destroy, but that's not a problem. Okay, so I have set it up correctly. Good to know. Good to know. Um, good to know. Also confusing. Very confusing. Unless... Hold on. Don't tell me. The entire time, I swear. The name of the default model for the variant is the... No, it's correct. That don't make no sense. I'll just keep working as if that makes sense, even if it very clearly doesn't. Uh, new region. Leg right front. Permutation name. Uh, default. Probability one. States. Default. Another state. Uh, minor. Another state. Major. Another state. Destroyed. So that should mean that the right front leg, aka this one, will never... I'm going to move it around and it should always... Oh, that still didn't work actually. What the fuck? I can see all the different states it can go through, which is cool and all, but... Just work. What if I asked you to work? Would that be so hard? Is it because they're not all merged together? Surely not. What kind of a dance emote is this? The locust can't figure out what it what it wants to be, what it feels. It's just going. So what's really interesting is I've set up one of the legs, which it, that leg should be working and being stuck to a single state. It's not. Um, the other issue... is that one of the legs... 
or that the body also is not changing at all. When I spam this, the body should also be like flickering, but it's not, which tells me that there's some kind of an issue. Though I will say, walking around with damage states on is quite fucking cool. Quite cool. My legs are all scuffed. Soon the head will have damage states as well. And overall, I think this thing uh, this is pretty insane. Squoodly, your model is nuts. Green, the animations are fucking clean. What? I think this thing really might be made of like Golo worms. Try restarting Sapien. You know what? That's actually a good call. That, that's a good call. <laughs> Meaty. <laughs> will it have inverse kinematics? Uh, sadly, no. It will not have inverse kinematics. Um, that's just that's not a thing that uh, ever was uh, able to happen in the game engine until Halo Four. But because in Halo 4 they had the Mantis, which had inverse kinematics on its legs. But that was the first time in the game's history that they ever needed a vehicle to have inverse kinematics, so... Green did his best while he was uh, doing all the animations for it. And uh, I don't think he was able to figure out a way to fake inverse kinematics, sadly. Green, how did that not work? If you're still here, your idea for using um, suspension animations was really smart. How did that not work? I feel like that definitely should have worked. Bipeds cannot use suspension animations. That doesn't make any sense. Are you sure? Damn. The Marines and Elites have IK. They use, um, so Marines and Elites that are supposed to be bipeds have a special thing for, uh, for their inverse kinematics. Uh, but it only works in Halo 3 while they're standing on a surface, not while they're walking. So if you ever notice in Halo 3, if you walk up a surface, your inverse kinematics do not work on that surface until you stand still. So while an animation is playing, the IK doesn't do anything. And also, it only works for two feet, and the Locust has four. So you could you could only have like two of the legs having IK, and then it would only activate while you're stood still. All right, let's see, round game. Still looks like it's a bit scuffed. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't, it do not want to be working well today. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's see. <sighs> Need more coffee. Also, damn, it's late. I did start my stream late, though, to be fair. I still don't know why these are moving, like, a downward. That's a bit weird. Wait, what the fuck? What's happening here? What? Does this have a mirror modifier? I... I don't have symmetry on. What's happening? Huh?
my brain exploded just now. I, I truly don't know why these are symmetrized. All right. Is it possible to add custom enter exit hijack animations? Oh yeah, no, it totally is. And now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure Green did exactly that. Let me throw those in uh, in game real quick. Uh, let's do tags, covenant locust. Let me just go to objects, characters, master, mast, ma master chief. Um. Green sent me his additional animations. Let me throw these into here and we can see what the animations actually look like. Wait, not that, uh, that. So this uses additional animations, another thing he named the exact same thing, but in a completely different place. And then this is another set of additional animations. Wait, what? Additional underscore animations dot model graph. What? It's right here. Oh, it got renamed. It's Kaboodly, thank you for the two dollars. Just realized the doors are upside down. What do you mean upside down? How can they be upside down? Up, 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 up. I mean, they're they're hanging down the bottom on accident, but that's just because it's like scuffed right now. Door is upside down, and there's an orange dot at the origin. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. I want to see what this animation looks like. Oh wait, that's kind of cool. Um, how, how the... Whoa, oh, oh, I see. Watch, watch in awe, I figured it out. I lied, I'm completely wrong and I'm also somehow stupid at the same time. No, wait. I am smart. What? Watch this. It's simple geometry, really. The doors are parented to the root bone. Wrong. Probably. Watch this. Boom, boom. 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 Yeah, I fixed it. It was a simple solution, really. It was... All I had to do was see the animation go in reverse, be extremely confused by the fact that they were backwards, upside down, and inside out, and realize that if I just reversed the trajectory and sent it on a crash course to its original position, the reversed polarity would actually inverse on itself, therefore I could see the location needed to be double-sided, switcheroo inverted to the position it needed to be at versus the position it was currently occupying. Think about that one. What can I say? I'm just good at what I do. <laughs> Quick maths. <laughs> Alright, let's get it re-imported again. That's one more thing fixed. Yeah, a couple more things need to be fixed. Kind of makes you think, like, has anyone really been far even as decided to use even go on to do look more alike? Now, I'm not really sure what to do next because all of the regions should be correct. 
default hull is rendered, but so is destroyed hull. Which is strange because I have set up them their their um I have set up the model correctly. Let me take a look at the render model really quickly. There's a chance that the um that the render model isn't working because the regions aren't set up. So there's a hole and it does have it has minor and default permutations. Interior just has default. Default major minor. Oh, of course, Skaboodly. Thank you for the $10. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, work has been proceeding to further the ill-conceived notion of the retro encabulation. The spurving wave gear intersects the panometric fam such that the side fumbling was effectively prevented. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, Falcon. The saying that is easy. Performing the matrix multiplication performed by the program to perform those rotations is the hard part. Gotta love me some Rockwell automation retro encabulators. Ah, it's absolutely so true. So true. Wait, hold on. Is it because... No, it wasn't because. Because if it was because, it would have it done worked. It did not done work. I'm thinking it over. I'm thinking it over. This is the render model. It does in fact have the region. Leg. Wait, leg, R. Oh! That explains a lot. That, wow, that really fucking explains a lot actually. I fixed it. Look at that. One of the legs is... Oh, working. <coughs> BL and BR. Okay, and just like that, all the legs damage states have been locked to their default state until I can make some uh, things that say break when damage taken. Very cool though, very cool. Check the M's, is this the good compromise for the neck not moving? Uh, let me see. All right, Green has sent me a video. Let's see. Yeah, wait, what is up with that? Your your head looks totally normal. Oh, here, I'm not showing it, my bad. Yeah, the, the mouth bits. Okay, anyway. Hmm. That is pretty cool, actually. It would be kind of cool if the head did a light bit of stretching along with that. That would make it feel really animated and nice. Like if, because like right now it does look good like this, but if it like did both at the same time, I don't know, maybe that wouldn't look good actually. I do like this though. What do you think, Skaboodly? It is nicer, like it is more, it feels a little more alive, so to speak. I, I do think it's an improvement. Personally, I, I think I would have... I don't know, actually. It's kind of nice that it does it like that. It makes more sense with the rig. Wait, what's the question? I was asking if uh, the green added some new animations to it. Uh, that lets it like lean upward when it looks around. What do you think of that? Because he's still stuck to the... Or because we're doing the lore accurate thing so that the um, head doesn't... Do the, the thingy thing. What do you mean this is machine-like? Yeah, it's machine-like. God, I just can't get over how much Scabootily nailed the art style of Halo 3 with this thing. Okay, the other thing I need to figure out now is why the... Wait, no, I fixed this. Does that mean I didn't re-import it? Okay, hold on. I need to... I need to re-import... Flood music! I need to re-import this, because, um... Oops. The fuck? Yeah, uh, re... 
imports go fast pronto stats yep i figured that happened Render, collision, physics, delete. Wait for the exporting in Blender to happen. Find the later exports and delete the older one. There we go. There we go. And there we go. So I can take all of you, put them in here, put you like that. Then re-import the render model on tool fast. And we wait for it to go and wait for the doors to get fixed. Wow. Neck moves in Halo Wars, does it? Head moves in Halo Wars, checkmate lore accurate people. Does it really? Grin, what if the neck does move in Halo Wars? What if we've been wrong this whole time? We need to take a close look at the locust here. We're taking a look. We're going in deep on this one, gamers. We're looking at a video with a gazillion locusts in it. And you know what? It's in 1080p HD. Let's full screen this bitch. Alright, wait, wait. The army of locusts begins here. I'm zooming. I'm scanning. A lot of locusts. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, their heads don't ever move in this game. I think we can take artistic liberties theoretically here. Okay, they, it's like they play a single animation if I'm being real. They just kind of rotate around and never move anything ever. Mm. You know what? You know what? They're a really boring looking in this game and we could we could make them better. We could do better. Skip to when they're in combat. Oh. Okay. We can we can take a look. Actually, that's a good idea. I it's been a while since I like have taken a look at their damage and stuff. Oh, here they come. All units. Pew, 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 pew. Damn. Okay, I'm not seeing too much of the animations that are really making me feel like the head turns a lot or anything. So far they've just stared forward. Moving next, I'm not seeing it. Oh wait, there's one, it kind of like rotated, but I, we're talking about up and down. I think, I think we're, uh, I don't think it moves it up and down ever, unfortunately. Now why the freaking heck, frick? Why is it doing this? Let's all just uh, cry together, can't we? If you just, if you just cry with me. Full default. And then there's whole minor. And then there's 
miners destroyed. Default miner destroyed. Did I like misspell the word hull or destroyed or something? Because I, I don't understand why it's rendering everything at once. Like, the legs are good now. I could fully set up the legs and it would be no problem, but, like... I'm, I'm genuinely at a loss as to why this region in particular is not uh, rendering as it should. The... What is it? So, default hull is the face map for the body. Default hull. Body destroyed is destroyed. Destroyed hull. Body miner is, crazily enough, minor hull. Interior, minor interior. Same for this and this. Actually, this definitely should be set to bone body. No, it's not. Kind of got lucky that I didn't move much with the animation. <sighs> Everything is 100% set up right. If the head slightly recoiled and trembled when firing, that would add a lot. Green said you can't have a slight bob up and a slight side-side animation while walking because separate vehicles. Uh... You know what I'm thinking about right now? Green, they don't need to be separate vehicles. They really don't. We could make it all one vehicle, and that wouldn't really be an issue. In fact, it might just be easier overall. This thing is just kind of alive. It's like a whole biped. Like, the fact that it's a turret vehicle, as far as I can tell, just isn't necessary. Like, it's, it's not really causing any issues besides the fact that animations are slightly restricted because of it. Couldn't we just... Merge the turning animations together on it, and then, like, make firing animations on this rig instead? I feel like that would work. It's like literally one extra bone. Might have to reparent the two door bones. They are parented to the root bone when they should have been parented to the body bone. Oh, neat. I mean, you possibly could... Well, the reason I'm saying we could... It would be kind of a pain in the ass for you, though, because I think you'd have to, like, redo all... Well, not, like, redo all the animations, but... Re... Well, maybe. Would you? I don't know if you would. But I feel like... Okay. Did you even see the two files? Yeah, no, I did. You you brought the, uh, the any aim move up and move down. I'll, I'll put them in right now. Um... But the thing is that with the uh, head being separated. Wait, what? Come at any. Let's see. Let me think. It looks good. 
You know what I think the Locust needs? I'm gonna try something. Oh, wait. That? I just nailed something down. Alright. This is not a big deal. Well, it is to me. This is a big deal to me. On the Locust... Hold on, I'm gonna go into the files in the background while you stare at its beauty. On the Locust, if you notice... The... Way that the body turns is kind of weird. If that makes any kind of sense. There is a problem. The locust doesn't feel like it has a lot of weight to it. The head kind of does. See the way that it rotates like that? It has like to catch up to where you're looking. That feels like it's a heavy, heavy thing. But the problem is, look at the body has no weight to it. It just jiggles instantly. It responds to my mouse cursor literally instantly. I'm doing like figure eights with my mouse cursor and it's just going up -da, up -da, up -da. that is too much. I am going to add a little bit of like heavy weight to it. Uh, where is it? What's it under? Well, let me spawn something in really quickly. Adding in something new to the mix from uh, Extinction, the multiplayer Scarab. I need to know really quickly if I can actually change the speed of that, because I'm actually not entirely sure I can. Yeah, okay, I can. This thing is a really sluggish turning, and that's all built into the biped. Uh, I think... Ending camera height, blah, 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 lock on fields, grand. It's one of these values that I need to find. And on vehicles, it's right here under camera acceleration near the middle. Uh, it's like above the weapons and seats field. It's like supposed to be around here, but I don't think bipeds use that for their turning speeds. So this is controlling the movement turning speed. Whereas... They do use it, I just changed it. With the aiming and looking velocity to like 100. Did I just pass over it or something? Oh, maybe it was set to zero. Oh, it was, okay. Oh my god, Scarab. Spooky. Okay, let's see how weighty this feels now. Okay, that feels better. I feel like it has weight to it now. The acceleration might be a bit fast. I'm confused. I think if I set them both... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Skaboodly, <laughs> thanks for the two. Yeah, this thing did look. It was like, Mama, Mama. Ooh, that's. Okay, that has some serious weight to it. Maybe too much? Let me see. Okay, yeah, it needs some more acceleration than that, but like. That feels pretty good. It like it lags behind a little bit, but it's not like too much. So if you're trying to do precision aiming, it's not a big deal. But when it's doing big movements, you can really feel the weight to it. Because when I, what's important is like that it looks good, but also that it plays good. And honestly, with this level of like weight to it, that this feels like a heavy vehicle before. 
Because honestly, the biggest problem that this has as a vehicle is that it, um, it's like, how do I put it? It's slow and big, or it's not slow and big, like, especially when you start moving forward. In fact, you know what would be kind of tempting? Would be, Green, you know how you did the, the way you did the Goliath, actually, would be really good for the Locust, where it has like a run cycle, where it slowly accelerates, and then the run cycle after that one is the full speed acceleration. That way, this thing, instead of hitting, I don't know if that would feel good while playing, but I think it might. You know, because right now it's just you press W and you're instantly like full speed stomping around. Do you think, you, would you be willing to try that? I, I think I could do it too if you don't want to do it. But I figured you're willing right now. It seems like you just kind of are messing around. Okay, gotcha. I don't actually know if it would be good. Let me know if it feels like good to control. Okay, the mouth isn't opening because I gotta refresh the animations. Okay, here's another question I have for all of you. I still have to redo the effects and stuff on the beam. But my question is, do I give this thing like a half second charge so that there's time for the mouth to open? Or do I just make it an instant fire beam? Because I feel like if I gave this thing like a half a second to one second charge... Then, because right now the mouth just instantly comes open. And like gameplay wise, that might feel kind of satisfying, but I feel like it might be even like visually better and gameplay better if it has to charge. Yes to charge up. Like it's just a short one. Cause like, yeah, it just feels a bit weird right now. All right, we'll give it a try. I'll try not to break the, the weapon on it. Cause uh, it's really easy to fuck up weapons by doing charges. Charge up and make it really powerful. Hopefully not too powerful, but yeah, it will probably, it'll need an extra power boost if you have to charge it up every time. Both Hunters and Scarab gonna have a charge up? Yeah, that's true, that's true. The main difference with this being like that it's an instant travel time weapon, but still. Okay, as a test, um, I'm gonna temporarily anyway, add in the Scarab's charge effects. Just so that there is something to see while it charges, but obviously I'll switch that out later. Turrets, head turret, no, scarab. What would it be under? Is it under effects? Oh yeah, effects weapon, head turret, charging. And then we'll put that into the locust. Vehicles, covenant locust. Remastered effects. And this will be charging effect. Obviously this charging effect is gonna be really whack. Let's give it a one second charge time. And then on the on the ve on the head vehicle, I'm gonna switch it so instead of oh wait yeah, and then charged illumination will be one. I don't have to change the animation. Behavior. So right now it's set to spew, spew, fire, fire. So I'll make it charge. Charge. Charge discharge? Is that how it works? Okay, and I gotta refresh. I think that's how that works. It might shoot like one single thing, but we'll see. Oh yeah, okay, it shot a single one. Is there a way I can make it so you can charge and then... Overcharged action, none. 
What if I do that? Okay, I gotta refresh. Flood music. I think we need to kind of melee if the locust have one so it can compete. Okay, I, I don't know if there's a way to do it, a charging weapon, other than to give it a fixed amount to discharge. Hmm. Shots per fire is right now zero. The only problem is that Locust originally did not have a charge up. Ah. Okay, so it has a fixed exploding outwardness of two seconds. Uh, but that's not right. So it should be ch oh prediction type is spew. Maybe that's maybe that's why. Ah. Okay, I just need to copy over like from the scarab settings. When will I end stream? I don't know. Uh. When I get tired, I kind of got a second wind a little bit ago, so I'm just still going. I really don't have anything else to do tonight, so... Yeah, I'll just stay up and keep uh, modding the game for a while. Honestly, usually, I, I, I would end stream and save some of this work for another time, but I really feel like the progress today is good, and I'm really motivated to get Ultimate Forge out. Um, so, yeah. Everybody's kind of chill on the stream right now, which I don't mind. Right now, for me, the stream is about work. After Locust fires, a little bit of smoke should come out of the fins. I think that'd be a cool effect. I'm gonna go pretty hard on the particles, so... I'll try to make something nice like that. Um, what was I doing again? If Halo Forward mod tools are out, why isn't the Mantis done? Um, because you can't actually extract and export stuff from the Halo 4 mod tools. Okay. I really like this camera track at this distance, but this looking up and over thing is too unpolished for me. I'm gonna change that now to... I'll see if I can't find the camera track it was based off of very quickly. It's using Locust D camera track. I'm gonna switch to... How big is the dropship? Is that too big? Well, okay, I just, I'm gone. Okay, dropship's definitely too far out. Let's try Scorpion? Not Scarab, Scorpion. Scorpion, I would say, is too close. But I do like that it has like this overlooking thing here. And this is a tall vehicle, so this could work. Try Wraith. Uh, true, I could try Wraith. Let's see. Wraith. Driver camera. Oh my god. Ooh. Actually, I like the way that the Wraith one looks over even more. So it's good, but I think it needs to be edited slightly. I think it needs to be pulled backward a little bit. Um, I think it's too close to the vehicle. Are there not custom camera positions? There are, I was about to make one. The Wraith is good because it can pitch higher up. Oh, you're right, because it needs to lob mortars. You're actually very right about that. All right, here's what I'll say. Let me do a test. I feel like this is too... Actually, wait, because it's got a physics model. I like that you can see so much of it on screen, but it's taking up too much screen real estate, and usually the way I fix that... 
um, is that I go to, where is it? Vehicles, Covenant, Locust, Remastered. I don't know where that is. So this will be the Locust, new Locust D camera. Um, but usually the way I fix that is I'll multiply the distance away from the camera by a decent bit. So right now the, uh, this is camera point six, which is like the straight, the looking forward camera track. So like right here, looking straight forward, because there's 12 points in total, which means the sixth point is like the, the horizon, uh, horizontal facing one. So if I zoom this out a bit, let's, and the best way to do that is to open the calculator. And you take the distance that you're away from and you multiply it by a number like 1.2. If I plug that back into here and save, or before I plug it back in, I'll let you see the changes on OBS. So there's that and then, so this is now moved the camera back a fixed amount. Obviously, if I look up or down, it doesn't match up with the other camera points, so it's really jarring. But at this distance, I think it's pretty good. I like that. So 1.2 is what I multiplied camera point 6 by. And if I go through now and I multiply every camera point by that, I'll move calculator off screen. Um, it'll be a really even, smooth transition. So if you ever wanted to know how to make custom camera tracks, basically reuse um, existing camera tracks and multiply all of a certain value by the same number, and it will retain these smooth movements of the original camera track. This is something I actually did back in assembly. I was really shitty at math in high school, but after trying to rack my brain for a good way to make a custom camera track for giant frigates and other spaceships, eventually I was like, wait a minute, hold the phone. I think I got this one. I hope I didn't fuck anything up here. There's like a slight chance I just screwed it up and I'll have to redo the camera track, but God, I hope not. But there you go. More or less. A more last value. Bah, 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 bah. All right, let's see how that looks in game. So here is the new camera track. Zoomed out quite a bit more on the Locust. You can see it pretty well. The only complaint I have right now is that the camera point is too uh, low. And while technically I could fix that in the camera track, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep the camera track in the exact way that it is right now. And I'm going to do a different way, uh, which is to edit the physics model. I'll have to do this manually each time, so I don't recommend it if you're planning on using this. DMs, DMs, DMs. Okay, let me see. Not really a fan of this. Make it loop on frame 50. Oh, you, that's how you did it. Okay. Okay, let me grab this. This is move front, hold, combat any. By the way, Green, if you're wondering why your stuff isn't taking and automatically slotting into place, you have to remove some of the underscores. I don't know if the game maybe like does in fact know it, but okay. Anyway, let's see. So uh, I asked Green to do something as like a test because I felt like there was like a bit of weightiness mixing from the Locust. I asked him if he could do an animation. So when it moves forward, it accelerates. Um, Ba, 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 ba. I have to go to the animations really quickly. Hold on. I never added underscores. Weird. Oh, maybe it's something Discord does. I was about to say, there's no way. I was sitting there like, there's no way. Because that wouldn't work. Okay, loop frame index 50. All right, so here is... The Locust with Green's animation. Wait.
Is that accelerating? Is that just like a slow walk followed by a fast walk? Because it doesn't feel... It doesn't really feel smooth. It feels like it goes like very slow and then immediately starts going fast. It's supposed to sort of ease into it, but it feels bad. Yeah, it doesn't like... It doesn't feel like it eases into it for some reason. Hmm. It's not... It just doesn't feel good. I was hoping it would feel better than that. Blatant Throwaway, thank you for the fiver. Appreciate it. Uh, Green Knight as editor for videos when? Oh, see, first I need videos. <laughs> That's the first problem. I don't have any videos right now. Well, I have videos I could be making. Hmm. Hmm. When you did the animation green, was it like, hold on. I don't actually know how I would do this. I genuinely have no idea. I'm not, I'm not good at like animating stuff in this way. Cause right now, wait, what the fuck? That's not how any of that works. I thought I fixed this ages ago. Uh, left rear, two, left rear one, right rear one, or two, and then right rear. I did. Okay, it's probably just a blender bug then. I'll ignore that. Um, Interesting. I'm seeing how they did this animation. Pretty smart. Hmm. Okay. I see now. Cats here. I haven't seen you all day, kitty girl. Where have you been? I agree. Okay, sorry, I was checking something real quick. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that right now, actually, the walking animations. I think it's it's good, the way that it was. I do wanna see if there's more ways that I could add more, um, 
But is your PC preventing 1080p streams or is it your internet? Um, I thought it would be my PC. Oh shit, I was actually considering streaming in 1080p, it just as a test. But I didn't want to accidentally just like fumble a whole stream in case my PC can't handle it. The main problem wasn't that I was streaming in 1080p, it was that my bitrate was too high. That's why I used to lag all the time. I know my bitrate's not amazing right now. In fact, my bitrate's probably really terrible. Like, let me let me see, what does my bitrate look like right now? I'll watch the stream on my second monitor. I had to lower it to like 4,000. My bitrate's actually not so bad. It's readable. I'll try I'll try streaming at 1080p tomorrow. Fuck it. Like no lagginess. Yeah, I fixed all the lag on the stream. The stream if the stream ever lags again, like for any reason whatsoever, it's going to be because of um my internet. Technically my PC could cause it to lag still. Okay, yeah, that's casting self shadows. Now that I'm looking at it, the head is 100% casting self shadows. I'll have to touch that up with some region stuff. No way. I can fix that easily. Hold on. Or no, you can't set it so that it doesn't cast shadows on itself because that's the only way. Yeah. Okay, never mind. You may Yeah, I just have to split it into a new region. That's fine as well. Um, what else? So that's that. Bitrate usually gets funky when a lot of shit is moving on screen at once. Yeah, which for my streams is not common. Most of everything I do here is just very chill. You know what I can do right now though? Which would be pretty cool. Uh, let me fix the animation for running. Re-import it real quick and then... Uh, Make it loop at frame zero again, but uh, I want to set it up so the charge works, first of all. I kind of want to do the FX as well for the beam. Oh, it's stuff I really want to do on stream. I don't know. A bunch of people don't want to watch hour-long streams. Yeah. You know what I'll do? I'll start streaming in 1080p from now on if I can. And if I can stream in 1080p, I'll start putting... Um, my stream up into videos. And if it actually ends up doing well, but you don't have a PRT render enabled, do you? You will bake AO on the vehicle, which you do not want. Um, you don't have PRT render? No PRT shadows at all for interior. Oh wait, this isn't the head. Hold on, the head model. Shadow receive. No PRT shadows at all. But that's gonna look kind of bad, right? Isn't that? Focus remastered slash head. I don't know what the name of that region is. Hold on. Let me open it up. Uh Give me your region name. It Huh. Green, did you send me old blend files? No, there's no way. I'm tripping. What? There's default. Oh, because it's a leftover from the original model. Okay, region defaults. There we go. I had to generate one because it didn't have any regions. What's the head? PRT shadow bounces. Zero, fine. No PRT shadows at all. Region default. Mutation default. 
head. Shadow receive override and shadow cast override. No. Default, no PRT shadows. PRT shadow detail. Shadow receive region default. And yet it's still shadowed by itself. Huh. Weird. Anyway, I'll get to that later. I'm under, I'm kind of under the screw paying to get into a video type mindset because not everyone can throw money at streamers. Uh, what does that mean? Not gonna lie though, I would not edit in big donations. Yeah, I feel like big donos wouldn't necessarily be like good content. I, don't, I can't think of any. It could be if it was like a funny type dono, but. Anyway, I, I'm getting distracted. I need to focus on this weapon really quickly and the physics model as well, because when I get in this thing to drive it, it gets in my way while I would like to be aiming, and I'm going to change that by going to the center of mass offset and offsetting this by one unit. Watch in awe. What? Bold destroy. What? Right, I'm quietly molding. Hold on. You want some help with the Gibbs? Honestly, yeah. I forgot if there was a quick way to do them or if you have to manually place them all each time. I for do the Gibbs spawn out of their origin point? If I, if I know they spawn out of their origin point, I don't remember the details of it. But if they spawn out of their origin point, then that'll make it a lot easier. Pretty sure you have to manually do each of them. That's fine by me if I know exactly where to place the marker. If I know exactly where the marker goes, that's like really easy. But it's their origin point in Blender, right? Like the little orange thing in Blender. Like the little orange circle here is the origin point of the whole thing. I was just saying, like, uh, that's that's when, like, let's say I spawned this, right? It would spawn, like, above the ground because the, like, if I had a marker right here, this would spawn up here because the orange point, like, the Gibbs are just create objects. I'm just going to assume that they are and that I, it shouldn't be too bad if I do that. Come on. Load. 
finish loading. Ooh. Okay, give me a physics model now. And a, and a render a collision model too. Scanning. Okay, so there should be two rigid bodies now. There's the whole default and whole destroyed. Whole default, if I set the center of mass offset to one, that should now actually affect my camera, which is cool. Let's see. Did it? I think it did. What the funk? Are you good? Clearly not. What is what? Why is it? Why does it look like that? It's gross. Stop that. Can you actually skin that foot to the upper leg? I would say yes, but like. Oh no, I did actually. No. Because the animation here works perfectly. Want the book? What? All of the legs look weird now. They're positioned like strangely. It's like the idle animation got messed up somehow instead of. It. Turned it into a scarab. I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I was testing a charging animation to see if I get the mouth to not weirdly open up in like an instant. Because that, that's not a good idea. Um, make sure to... Oh, you know what? That's actually what happened. That's 100% what happened. I was like... Because I know I, I didn't accidentally skin anything. Yeah, that's that's on me. Yeah, it was in like a walking pose when I exported it early. Ex exported it earlier. <laughs> Alright, let's get all this into here. Get that uh, render model in. And the collision model too. I don't know what that be doing. I'll do the physics model as well, just because I'm feeling really brave and beautiful tonight. Damn, look at it compute that bounce sliding. That shit's crazy. <sighs> My ear is so itchy. Do any of you guys have it where, like, Cleaning your ears is like better than a fucking orgasm. Like I look my like if my ears are unclean after I am like a shower, I'll just like clean my ears and I'll be like, oh my god, there is no greater pleasure in the world than this right here. Oh, it's wonderful. What textures are the Gibbs supposed to use? Um, it's using locust underscore damaged material, and. Locust underscore internals. It truly is an after dark stream. <laughs> Listen, I think cleaning ears is a phenomenal thing and all people should do it. Why is it only leg front left has duplicate materials that I like? Is leg front... What the f stop posing yourself? What the fuck? I s literally stopped pose mode. Are you kidding me? What the f God damn it. I have to redo it again. Hey, look at that shit. Wicked. Sick pose, bro. Sick.
The locust is marking its territory. Yeah, it's about a piss with this kind of a pose. It's nasty. <laughs> Alright. At least it exported fast that time. Okay. Redoing the import of everything once again. Keep him waxing there just in case I need to craft a cam. Alright, Shrek, calm down. There should be like a 1 in 1,000 chance that instead of playing the normal walk cycle, the Locust does like a little hop. Just saying. Does Locust crouch? Uh, I don't... I don't think so. The lo to be honest, like, it's it's kind of always crouched to begin with. Maybe crouching will make it stand up. Oh, better. Alright, let me fix, like, the physics model and the collision model, too. Beautiful. Wait for it, wait for it, there we go. It's updated. Ugh, that mouth part's super messed up. Okay, it would be nice to get like a custom sound in for the charge and also get the effects to not be like super weird and non-existent. Wait, what? No way, look what I can do. It's a fucking exorcist moment. Hold on, it goes Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's because it can look just over 180 degrees. And because there's now acceleration, technically the shortest route to getting to the other side is actually going backwards because it's like an extra one degree. Because by the time that I would normally go like all the way over there, it hasn't caught up yet. Love that. Okay, I'm going to be honest, there's a lot of things I want to do, but I can feel myself getting pretty uh, tired from the stream. It's already five hours in. There's a lot more I still want to do. Um, I think I'll work on it on stream tomorrow, and we'll definitely be done by tomorrow. And I think Ultimate Forge will be out by Friday. But I just want to give a huge shout out to both Skaboodly and Green for putting this together. Skaboodly for doing an amazing job, putting in so much effort and detail into this thing. Green for actually hooking this up, making it fully functional in-game, making a fantastic vehicle, and for whatever reason being on call today and, and just doing shit. Um, both of them are fucking fantastic and actually brought this vehicle to light. I am really fucking excited to like put this in some of my mods and mess around with it. Like It is so fucking cool. Um, tomorrow I'll get all the damage stuff working a bit better, if not off stream. And uh, yeah, it'll be cool. Alright, huge shout out to them, being fucking awesome. I'm gonna go for the night, I'm gonna go eat my the rest of my KFC. And yeah, just go sleep dreaming about the Locust. Once again, huge shout out to them, but also a huge shout out to you guys. Thank you very much for the tip goal support today. Uh, it has been wonderful. It is always encouraging to see we hit the tip goal and exceed it like crazy. Uh, it's wonderful. And thank you guys for all the super chats. Those have also been insanely generous. There were seriously some ridiculously generous few of you who were just going crazy. And I, I really, for those of you who are still here, I appreciate it more than you know. Um, and just all of you who have just been in chat today, hanging out as well. Like I said, I say it almost every stream, and I genuinely do mean it. I have... An amazing community like all of us here 
I think are, it's just wonderful. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you look forward to the stream tomorrow. And I hope that you look forward to the fingers crossed, hopeful release of Ultimate Forge on Friday, considering everything is pretty much done. So thank you all once again. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Be sure to like the video or the stream if you haven't. And to check out my socials, Discord server in the description if you're not in it for whatever reason. Um, et cetera, et cetera. You get the gist of it. Have a wonderful night, though. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.